Hello, and welcome back to more of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Wow, this is an amazing title theme. I love just sitting here listening to it. I almost forgot to actually do all the stuff that I needed to get ready for stream. <laughs> it's just an amazing theme. I love it so much. And it's so long, too. I don't know who would normally be able to listen to all of this if they didn't just open it up and sit and listen. It's amazing. Anyway. So, last time we did a thing, and now the whole world is against us, and we're supposed to head south to a place called the city where hopefully people won't hunt us. Alright. So here we are. We got our fabricator. We got our rest spot. Stopping at the rest spot is actually going to cause us to uh, move forward in the story, but we have a quest over here. I haven't played this game in two weeks, so I apologize if I'm a little rusty on things. Hello, customer. Can she show request favor in return for handsome reward? What kind of favor? It not big favor. She'll show only making register of friends. How does that work then? Caravan of Shill Shill not only not on caravan in world, you know. She'll still have many compatriots in many places. She'll still now trying to make formal register of said gems. You're a traveler. Just do it yourself as you go along, isn't it? Well, she'll show want very much to do this, but currently waiting for teacher. So, she'll she'll stuck here. Favor is this, if you choose to accept. Talk to Nopon merchants like she'll she'll when you see them. We can do that. She'll she'll know friends have what it takes. It's a bit weird to ask people you barely know to do this, but whatever. They're 19 caravan and all. What? That's loads! But there's so many Nopon who cooperate like Shilsho and Mimu will not be problem. Talk to Nopon about requests, and friends get stone like this. Come back when all are collect and when all are collected. Yellow Nopon Pebble. The yellow stone. Not only yellow, but red and blue too. She'll show what you to collect all. I believe they call this mission creep. <sighs> Thank you for kindness. You really helping up on in need. All right, we accept. Just as long as you're not in any kind of hurry. <laughs> right, we can certainly keep an eye out. Nopon register. Complete the Nopon caravan register. That's not going to be done for a while. You have something new to say. Sell valuable materials to Shill Shill in exchange for monies. Heavy items also. We'll save on bother of selling a caravan. Excellent. That sounds like an efficient approach. Meh. But friends should not forget completely about caravan. Stop by for extra shoppings there. Welcome. So much choice. Let's see. We've got headgear. Let's see. Critical rate up, ether defense up, aggro reduction boost, uh, healed by, uh, amount of HP healed by healing arts, aggro reduction, aggro, uh, reduces aggro generated from healing arts, accrues aggro every second, that's nice for tanks, but. I think we have a lot of good things already, so... Meh. Window shopper. Hey! We get stuff for that. Okay. I wonder what those points are. I have a fabricator here. And I find it interesting that he actually has that. So use money to fabricate items here. If we do that, then... Okay. 
And they just spew out the side. Okay. See, now this has the opposite effect uh, for the camera that Okami does. It actually does, you know, like every other game ever. So it's kind of hard. And now I'm getting lost because it's the opposite of Okami. All right. We could do with some food. We can clean our clothes. Personal hygiene is every soldier's duty. And let's rest and continue the story. <sighs> mm -mm. No, no, no! More to the right! Oh, it's right a face there. mech on. Start lowering! Make sure it's airtight! Sand around here? Finer than Rusker flower. I could do a triple weld. Sure. Long as the output's stable. Yes, sir. What's up with the K-Rounds? We're two caches short. Hope you didn't snuff up the order. I don't know, okay? Got a problem, take it up with logistics. We're just a dirt rank colony. Low as they come. You think the castle gives a crap? A Queen's Oath, this pisses me off. We get better scores than any sparking colony out there. Did you know? For ten rank field rations, I hear they get Arden meat. Really? And us mudders? Trust me, you really don't want to know. <sighs> I miss the good old silver days. Didn't have to rely on rations back then. We had cooks come and serve us right on the front line. Used to get Armu sirloin, we did. Seriously? Uh, hey! What now? My own indiscretion has caused you difficulties. I'm sorry. No! What kind of person uh, we is would she? never. Our apologies, Commander Ethel. That was all, uh, just banter. Believe me, we had no intention of. You enjoyed eating our mistake, did you? Uh. Yes, I did. Tastiest food I ever ate. I liked it as well. And I hope we will have it again. So lend me your strength. Mom! Yes, Mom! With what, though? I don't see what's wrong with Wolf, personally. <laughs> That's because you have poor taste. I'm jealous. Oh, well. Trade you my taste buds? No, thank you. My mouth had turned as foul as yours. <laughs> True that. They cleared out real fast. I hear the attending consul is a particularly punctual sort of character. Please not another stickler for the rules. Can't be long now. Yep. Got about five minutes to go. Whoa! Well, well, Consul dear. Your reputation certainly precedes you. There's a face mech on. And it looks like it's on. Why are they using the face units anyway? Monado's not a thing anymore. Why is it 
so insufferably dusty around here. Well, you Clearly, use the hover type. The place befits its dirt rank status. The rainy season will soon be upon us. I ask your patience for just this short while. Is that so? Then, leaving aside the issue of cleanliness, just what is with all this fog? I don't take kindly to my vision being obfuscated. Go oh, forget it. So, where are my quarters? Yes, this way. He's one of the Infinity folks, isn't he? Filthy room. How the dirt rank has fallen. I suppose that would be something to take up with the castle. Alpharonis is an old model. I understand your displeasure. But please don't escalate this. Do I detect some defiance? No, no, that, that was never my... Relax, girl, I jest. Now then. Let's cut the chit-chat and talk business. I'd like you to eradicate some vermin for me. Vermin? By your leave, sir, we've detected no movement from Agni and Pharonesis around this area. Not Agnes. People. Soldiers. A band of deserters from both sides. Well, something like that. Agnes and Kevis, both. <laughs> I think it's best you see for yourself. Hmm. This is expressly at the Queen's behest. Don't foul this up. Yep, Infinity Hooks. And the Queen is Hyantia. Who would have saw that coming? Mean. Looking at something? Oh, nothing in particular, really. It's just kind of a habit. Checking our status, the war. Watching for info updates. Silly. <laughs> Don't know why I still bother to check it anymore. Not like there'd be updates. Oh. What is it? An icon just popped up. Over your head. Huh? Oh, yeah. Now I can see an icon for you as well. Haha! <laughs> it shows their How weapons. Can we unlock a feature like this? I've never noticed it before. And it's red for the others because they can't combine. <laughs> Yours seems to be the only one not locked. Huh? What? Like a sparking light bulb. I guess there must still be more to this feature. And now they have matching outfits. Oh, he can use her weapons. Hey, that's Mimi's. What in the blazes? I've never used this kind of blade before, but all the techniques I can use with it are flashing before my eyes. Oh, we can swap up weapons. It's so weird. Not like we suddenly just gain the knowledge out of the blue, but as if it were always ingrained deep within us. Strange. I think partners can swap weapons now. Oh, doesn't look like I can get Mimi's gear. Now that's a shame. Hmm. This it. <gasps> How come I got Moody Guts and not Noah's, huh? That's what I'd like to know. Your class is the only one I can seem to pick, unfortunately. Whoa! 
You can lug this thing about without a power frame. Not bad. Don't know how this is even working, but cool. But is this all part of Ouroboros too? Probably. If it gives us more options in battle, yeah, I'm all for it. Yeah, I want to take this new blade out for a spin. From here, we head due south, right? Perfect. We can test them out on the road. Changing classes. Go to character's class to change a character's class. Every class has its quirk, quirks and characteristics, so be sure to play around with as many as you can. Upon winning a battle, you will receive class points that will re increase your class rank. The quickest way to increase, or increase class rank is to continually use one class. Master Art Settings. Go to Character's Arts in the main menu to set up a ca uh, character's master arts. By raising the rank of the character's class, you can eventually master that class's arts. If you switch to another class, you can set those arts into master art subslots. The number of available subslots will increase, your, uh, increase as your characters gain levels. Also note that Kvesi classes can only set Agnian class arts as master arts, and vice versa. Setting master skills. As your class ranks rise, you'll start to gain mastery of the skills it wields. Master class, uh, mastered skills can be used independent of class. You can set skills mastered on other classes from the main menu character skills. As you raise your level, you'll be able to set more master skills up to a maximum of three. Alright, you can change the classes of individual characters. Next, you want to select Class. A list of available classes is displayed to the right of the screen. Assign Noah the Zephyr class. I'll protect you. Next, let, uh, now let's change Mio's class to Swordfighter. I'm fine with attacking. Let's change uh, Uni's class to Tactician. Let's change Scion's class to Medic Gunner. Where better to monitor the battle than on healing duty? Let's change Lance's class to Ogre. So I got a whack him. I and Senna's class to Happy Guard. I'll take real good care of the bad guy. Now that Noah's class has been switched to Zephyr, let's set up his Master Arts. It's time to set up our Master Arts. First, select Noah. Master Arts are set up from the Arts menu. To the left of the regular art slots are the Master Arts subslots. It's making me uh, click all of the buttons. It's not actually just auto-moving to each button. But also, I literally can't press any other buttons than the ones required to do their selected task. Okay? It's not like I, like when I was trying to swap over to Noah just now, before I got to the step where it said change to Noah, I couldn't actually swap to Noah. Eleanor did nothing. <laughs> to the left of the regular art slots are the master art subslots. Mastering an art with another class and setting it here will allow you to use it while playing as another class. We can set ground beat. Ground beat. Let's set wide slash to Mio's master arts. Wide slash. Let's set myopic, uh, myopic screen to Uni's master arts. Myopic screen. Dark banner on Tyon. Crash out on lands. Crash out! And giant swing on Senna. Giant swing! Once you've finished assigning your master arts, we can move on to setting up master skills. Not that I can actually change these out at the moment. 
Okay, it's time to set up your master skills. First, select Noah. Master skills can all be set from the uh, skills selection. Skills have their own designated slots. Go ahead and set the Swordfighter skill to Cypher Edge. Let's set Split Second, uh, split second Counter to Mia's Master Skills. So you've got boosted critical rate by 20%. Deals 150% of attack damage when you ev evade an attack. Wow, that's good. Ninja Healer reduces aggro damage generated from healing arts. Ethereal Ability. Boosts damage dealt by Aether Arts. Defensive Soul. Boosts physical damage. Uh, physical defense by 15%. And Fighting Prowess. Boosts damage dealt by physical arts. By 40%. Now that you've finished setting up your master skills, exit the menu. You will not be able to change classes or edit Master Arts for a time. These options will become unlocked again after you progress in the main story. So I'm stuck this way. Thanks. Mio's class, the Zephyr. I should try it out. So I change people by pressing ZL and then R and L. Okay. That's not really conducive to the way that I hold the controller. Normally I press uh, ZL and ZR with my index finger and not my middle finger. I'm gonna have to learn a new way to hold the controller for this game. I'll do my best. Yes, uni's the boss. Okay, so she has the time recharge now, but she has art recharge on her master arts. I see. That is interesting. I'm gonna, for now, I think I'm going to just push toward the main objective. We do have that up there. You know what, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go see what that is up there, huh? Um, an area that looked kind of like a tunnel. There we go. But yeah, there's an area up top right that looks kind of like a tunnel. I want to see what is there. Whoa, got a red dude all right here. Whoa, check this place out. Raids void. Not to worry. Yeah, Vangs are usually aggressive. Right away. Wow. It got the blood pump at least. Hmm. Even though it's got all of this Oh, yeah, we're not going that way. Oh, 
Oh, she even swaps weapons in the middle of her attack for that art. Okay. That's interesting. Alright, I want to fill up the map because I can. We've been spotted. You're dealing with me. This will keep me going. Oh, oh, I'll call them. Leave the doorway, Noah. Oh, we've got the pin down. Purple! Flash out of the over way too soon. Hear that, Noah? Lance wants something a bit meatier. Just run around the edge. Flyers usually aren't uh, aggressive. Skeeters usually are. It's really nice how all of the stuff that I've learned about these games from playing the previous ones still hold true. And obviously, we're going to try and stay away from large things that are get, that get angry. So, I like how swimming <laughs> isn't a problem, though. It used to be a huge problem. It is not anymore, thankfully. Oppose us, and we will show no mercy. I'll watch your back. So I command the master arts using the stuff. Here we go, guys. Uh, using the control, uh, the plus control pad rather than the face buttons. Make me your myself to death. Okay, so stay away from the blants. Got it. I want that shiny thing, but it's oh, behind a whole lot of blants, so we're not doing that. Fight with focus. <laughs> I practically know this one by heart. Why Something a bit meatier. We're gonna try doing this, uh, uh, this particular one because I liked how it just sort of. It felt like I never had, uh, arts that I couldn't use. Let's see. So we still have stuff that I can explore if I don't go toward the objective, so I'm not going to for the moment. Although that thing looks All like right, it's gonna. No, it's it actually only level critters. twelve. Okay. Hey, this is still new to us. Don't rush in. Yeah, it's level twelve. We can do it. This one's got character. Shall this we will be a challenge. Don't lose focus. Let's end this quickly. I'll draw them. <laughs> I always, uh, I always move so that I'm away from the rest of the party.
something about this class is just standing uh, standing still and then whacking people. Oh, I can use both arts at the same time with that. Ow. This isn't going too well particularly for me, but I think for other people it's doing alright. I'm in a tank class anyway. This particular spot has both increased attack and uh, healing, so that's why I'm standing here. Haha! Conquered! Refighting unique monsters. Once you have defeated a unique monster, they will leave behind a grave. Check the grave with A and you'll be able to fight the monster again. Something so valuable. Got a new named grave. An ether channel. Guys, get ready to fight. Oh. Let's take on the heavy bar first. This should go considerably better than last time. Just because this is a far weaker foe. Goodbye. Well, there's some ether. Oh, found something good here. Fight with focus. <laughs> I'll practice you know this one by heart. Oh, air fine. Run from it to the last action. Hey, you better not take it up. Stand in the attack oh, up area. And we conquered an elite. Good 
goodbye. I lift, therefore I win. I lift, therefore I win. I'll do my best. Let's try Tyon. <sighs> or not Tyon. Uh, you need. Are they at it again? Okay, fine. We'll go help them. Get more points. Who will I assist? I get no spoils, but I can still get points for it. Stuff up there we might be able to grab. You think you're all that, oh, the crust of once fight? Fine. And the Pepito flag. Right. Let's push on. Whatever. We have a level 13 elite up there. Our unique monster. Um, I just wanted to grab this shiny thing. Odd ring-like shard. Yeah, that unique monster looks like it'll be a challenge. Because it's got so many flyers around it. I'd prefer not doing that right now. trying to become familiar with all of my characters right now, so that's why I'm swapping between a whole bunch of things. Over to Tyon. I 
How are we looking up here? All right, we can keep going a little. Level 10, uh, level 10 Elite. I think I can do that. Fight with focus. <laughs> I practically know this one by heart. Uh. The enemy right here. Now we get to face this guy. Let's notice our team is level 13. Okay. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. And down it goes. Did you see me in action, Mimi? Sure, so CP is not clock points, it's class great. points. That's nice to know. Alright. There's our giant eight that I don't want to have uh, tangle with. I do find it interesting how we have an area that looks like our planes and the uh, music matches. I know I've gone up there, but I haven't gone down below it. This was our starting area, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. We started up over this way. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. He's a Aha, we killed the Pepito. Pepitos are great for rewards. Yeah, let's get going over here. So if I left, if I click the left stick, it does an auto run, but I don't really like the auto run, so I'm not gonna do that. As long, uh, uh, the only reason I've even found out about it is because I've done it twice on accident when I meant to click the right stick. How are these plants? Conquerable or no? Not showing me the level. Okay, it's 14. Do that. Down it goes. We were just getting started. Guys, get ready to fight. You're dealing with me. Perfect time. Easy. Oh, 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 oh,
Grab this stuff all the way up here by the waterfall. Definitely nice how uh, water is no longer a I cannot longer fight thing. Uh, 14. I think a team can possibly take this. It's not a unique monster. Step aside or we will trample you. Yeah, knock them out of the park. No. You're dealing with me. Appreciate it. Neat how we can have up to six parts this way. The way this is set up. And we conquered it. Alright, that was a fun thing. Let's get going. Our giant ape friend is all the way over there, so hopefully we won't get uh, destroyed if we decide to head over this way. Oh no, we will anyway, because it's level 77. Yeah, we're uh, grabbing this item and leaving. Uh, no, 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 no. Remember, even if we die, we just revive at the last checkpoint. I've not died yet, but uh, I'm fine with that. I want to explore the map a little. And these things are reasonably spaced out, so it's not too bad. I think we're fine now. Let's go back. And stay well out of this guy's sight. Because he will kill me. He's level 80. Wow, my control is ru my controller rumbles with his every step. His steps, not mine. Whew.
Uh, I think we're good here. Not to worry. Okay, fine. Uh, I was a little too late on the uh, phase. Sure, I did, Santa. You look great. I wonder what that is up there, but I'm also fairly certain I can't get there. I'll try. Oh, that's a container. That's what that marker means. I remember now. Yep, I'm not getting up there. Oh, I see. It comes from that cave I was in earlier, where it had, like, level 26s or whatever. Yeah, uh, we'll get that later. Oh, uh, Grebbles are aggressive. That was over way too soon. It was. Lance brought something a bit meatier. Couldn't even get an attack upfield out. See what lands does. Hello, Ragnar. Anime? What? No, this is an anime. I find it interesting how they managed to combine the uh, art styles of both the first and second games, because the first game was designed to be realistic, and the second game was designed to be whatever the, uh, whatever the folks were at the, uh, the folks at Mollith were good at, which was mostly anime. Let's actually get over to our uh, objective. Is that a unique monster? Huh? Nah, that's Xenoblade 2. Alright. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. Yep, we got the attention of the evening monster. This is fun. Okay, I like this thing a lot. I 
can't phase after they've uh, I can't launch after they've already toppled, but okay, fine. You need to hit, buddy. As soon as I activate my launch thing, he dazes it. Or she dazes it, of course. Ah! Come on. Thanks for the heal. Anyway, welcome to the stream, Ragnar. How are you doing today? That's good to hear. Unfortunately, it seems Noah could be doing a little better. This is not going well. Let's grab things before I die. Took it down. We have a new name grave. Let's stay away from that area over there because it has higher level foes. And I think it's time to move forward. Bunch of rebels. Fusion Arts. Fusion Arts let you use a class art fused with its paired master arts effects when both are recharged. Hold ZR and press a class art button to use the Fusion Art. Canceling Fusion Arts. Using Fusion Arts allows you to chain, uh, chain cancel multiple art attacks together. Arts into Fusion Arts, Fusion Arts into Arts, and Fusion Arts into other Fusion Arts. Okay, that's interesting. There we go.
I felt a lot more nimble there, like the way you usually fight. It looked like second nature to you. It was crazy. You should have seen yourself. <laughs> I think I could have thrashed you with a little more practice. You know, it's totally bananas. Ouroboros is bonkers powerful. Right? Oh! The gauge for the locked icon has filled right up. Same here. So logically, if we gain enough experience by fighting together, we will become able to use each other's classes. That seems to be it. As much as I'd like to experiment. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't stay in one place for too long. Right. Well, better get ourselves down south. <laughs> Raising class rank. Earn enough class points through battle, and the class's rank will increase. You can also obtain class ranks by spinning up on coins. Each class comes with one art mastered from the start, but to master the other arts, skills, talent hearts, etc., you'll need to raise the class rank sufficiently. Class ranks are normally capped at rank 10, but by completing certain quests, you can unlock the ability to increase the rank beyond that limit. Fostering Classes If you go to Characters, Class, and press the R, you can see detailed info on the selected class, including the arts and skills you can master by increasing its rank. Classes are graded on a scale of S, A, B, C, D. In these areas, sword equals offense, shield equals defense, heart equals healing, chess piece equals difficulty of player control, even mind. A character's compatibility with a class is also graded. Using a compatible character increases the CP gain, making it grow faster, so keep, in, uh, keep this in mind as well. Stance type arts. These arts grant a special effect that will last for a while. You can tell the effect's duration by the ribbons of light around the character. It will continue until the light fades. However, the characters can only have one stance active at a time, so be mindful. If you enter a stance while the last one is still act is active, its effect will be overridden by the new one. You can now change classes and edit master arts again. Be sure to try out all sorts of combinations. Alright. So we can only get to rank 10, so I may as well keep them on a different class. But they're not all locked, I see. Interesting. I find it funny how the two healers are paired up and everyone else's uh, swap uh, status. Indoor sunglasses? Alright. While well, I'm menuing. How long is that for? I don't remember what it says. Why can't I see this? Where is it? There? Yeah, okay, five minutes. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not the rest of the stream, it's five minutes. So I'll leave it there until the reward says it's been five minutes. Let's see. So I can swap him to other uh, swap these folks to other classes, but I'm gonna 
I think I'm gonna wait until they hit rank 10 with it. That sounds like a good idea. Get all these and she'll she'll trade for big smashing brise. The silver knop on coin and 200 affinity, but I need a firefighting hydrojet. <laughs> this Uroboros power. We need to learn how to use it most effectively. Millic Ravine Way. So, the Alras crew started out on Gormot. I looked it up. The Alras crew started out on Gormot, and uh, the Xenoblade um, 1 crew started out uh, at it, the base moment. of the Bionis. Yes, there are loading screens in this game. Our next route. Okay, shoot. I'll send you the map data. Broadly speaking, it's either east or west. I would suggest we go west. Why is that? The area to the west is under Agnes's control. There is a certain degree of risk, as they'll have deployed a number of units, but it's the quickest way to get south. What about the east route? No man's land. None of the colonies have laid claim to it as of yet. However, we'd suffer a significant time loss. Time versus risk. Wait a sec. We're gonna stir up the Skeeter Nest. I only said there was a degree of risk. Really, it's not so bad. But Agnian troops are deployed there, yeah? Yes. And we're still gonna go? All I said is that it would be more efficient. <laughs> efficient. Well, maybe we do need to be more efficient. Faster is better. We don't want to be dragging our heels forever, right? Hey, I just have to ask. Are you trying to push some agenda? What? No, certainly not. But you admit the East Route is the safer option. That's just strange. Why wouldn't you pick the safe way? Because time is of the... Look, there you go again. <sighs> That's not all, though. It's all wasteland to the east. The the heat. It'll be unbearable. You're a Danian man. You're gonna melt in the sun. <laughs> I'm fine with your choice, but we need to think about everyone's safety. Noah, what's your take? Me. Um. I think I'd rather take the safe route. As for the heat, we can probably figure something out. There, four against two. <sighs> Tyon, Senna. Please. What are the biped creatures? What are you talking about? Fine then, if you absolutely insist. <sighs> Then it's settled. Come on, cheer up. Oh, the Nopon in the back. Yes. Those are Nopon. They just are dressed up fancy. If you've seen me play a previous Xenoblade game, I'm sure you've seen Nopon. Aegis Wilderness. Aegis. That's the name of a character from Xenoblade 1. They're useless. They're generally merchants.
Six minutes ago. What in the world is going on with this? Okay. Can we eat them? They are merchants! They were assigned to our uh, squads when we deserted, so... Uh, Wraith Valley! I'm sure they taste like bacon. They are actually pretty insistent that they don't taste good. Because yes, this does come up often enough that it matters <laughs> that it <laughs> that I remember that. All right, so we have a Nopon coin versus bonus experience and gold. I think we'll still go for the Nopon coins. Here we go, guys. Let's give them the usual, Noah. <laughs> It's a Dongo! They just like smoke! <laughs> it's funny because these are normally sea creatures and I've found. I haven't seen the sea yet at all. Yep, over to Senna. Alright. Ooh, what's that over there? Oh, it's an ether spot. Yeah, let's go there. First the giant hawks. Fight with focus! I know, I know, I'll rein myself in. Ha! Crash! 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 What level is that? 15? That's fine. Right. I keep missing with the topple art. It was already down, that's fun. I keep missing with everything. This is not going well. Well, that was the thing. I need to change out her arts because this is not working. Variable turret. 
Yeah, that's better. Ah, it's just the risk you run when you play this uh, when you play a Xenoblade game. Let's see. But the nice thing is, you keep all your stuff when you go back to the last checkpoint. All of it. The only thing you miss is uh, you don't get any experience for what killed you. Know, what killed you. <laughs> That's really all there is. <laughs> hmm. This is blow down and knock back. Can we get other reactions or something? Ooh, boost when attacking dazed enemies, huh? Actually, I like maximum voltage, that looks nice. Uh, I want to get rid of. This is blow down only from uh, from the front, and this is black back. I think I'm gonna swap out this one. No, 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 because this is an attacking class, so I need that. Let's swap out this uh, to maximum voltage. There we go. Hmm. It said something about sub art. <laughs> With a hundred and ninety pound hammer. <laughs> Well, he is a machina, actually, so that doesn't make that. Uh, he's a he's a machine person. I think I'd rather do Overfall than Dark Banner. And if he has Overfall... Evasion Down sounds like a good thing with how much we were missing. Myopic screen. That's the day's reaction. I could do ether cannon, but I prefer not to. Let's see. Ground beat is just frontward AoE. Do we have anything better? I like air slash. Air slash! Um. What's wide slash do? While art is active, evades enemy attacks at the cost of a low critical rate. Uh, no? We 
we could have knockback. Target lock, huh? I don't think that sounds like a good idea. And we'll do ogre. Ground beat is just an AoE attack. Where are the wings? She is a high Entia. Yeah, she is a high Entia. That's um, one of the uh, one of the uh, humanoid races of Xenoblade One. And uh, normally the head wings are much much longer, but all of that kind of high Entia died out uh, due to the events of Xenoblade One. Like, normally the head wings go all the way down to their ankles. Aggro generated. Have some aggro value sounds actually a lot. No, 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 wait, hold on. For what he's doing? Yeah, he wants to crash out. Crash out! Um. Let's see, boost aggro generated, boost damage dealt. And invades enemy attacks at the cost of low critical rate. Hmm. This is target lock. I think I'm gonna actually put target lock on glow, uh, glow ring. Glow ring! So that pairs with Crash Out. I need to think about what's pairing here. That's Air Slash pairs with everything. Uh, let's see. Mapic Screen. And this is just an AoE attack. I'll do that. Um, this is a general healing attack paired with Ether Defense down. That's not bad. Boost aggro generated, and this is flow down from the front. Okay. That's not bad. I do not want to topple art matched with that. Uh, let's crash out. Uh, yeah, we'll put that there. That or variable turret. Crash out! Yeah, that's good. And let's swap over to play in this Noah. Point. I like this setup a lot better. Oh, also, I'm gonna have to change up their stuff, aren't I? Yep, I am. I totally forgot about that. Their accessories are matched currently to what their previous uh, stuff was. I like that. Oh, it looks like it's mesh. Oh, that's neat. And they swap classes with people. They also swapped accessories. Yeah, they swapped accessories when they swapped classes. That was that's that is an ex and that is an efficient thing that I was not expecting. All right, let's go. Yeah, I feel pretty certain that Aegis was the name of someone in Xenoblade One. Foxes may or may not be, uh, aggressive. I don't remember the differentiator on that one. Uh, 
Uh, they're at it again. I'm not going that way. Uh, where... Where was I headed off to, anyway? Shall we deal with it? You look great. Uh, what level are they? Sixteen. That's not bad. Hey, this one makes business. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Well, that was fast. And our healers are going down trying to rescue me. Well, both our healers are down, so it's just a matter of time. Healers are the only ones who can revive, so I'm just sort of sitting here waiting until my entire party goes down. Well, that was the thing. I saw a thing over here. <gasps> Got a soldier's husk. Such is the officer's duty. So there's the thing that killed me. Let's uh, try and stay out of its way. I already know that I'm no match for three, uh, two Rockles. I'm not facing off against three. This is something decent, right?
I might go a little slower trying to get over to this area. Maybe we can take care of this thing while the uh, giraffe does not destroy me. Whoa! Got a rare dude all right here. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. Where I'm from, Goodbye. That was not hard. Now I'm ready to make some waves. See, the hard part was facing that while the giraffe was focused on me. I'll claim the ether here. Sharp-witted Tracy. Healer down here. I don't think we're running this one. And our healer went down trying to rescue me. Oh, it's time to leave.
Lots of game overs today. Alright. Thankfully, the punishment for game overs is negligible. Alright, what's over here by the Taos? It's level 14, so it's not too bad. The worst part is giraffes usually aren't aggressive, so... the button for this. enemies. Press up. Okay. Huh? Is that? I'll lure them in. There we go. Oh boy, there's two of them. down. Awesome. We should do a lot better now. See an easy way up. Hmm. 
Got a whole lot of people to send. Huh. Trying to stay away from enemies for the most part. Not to say that I'm afraid of combat, but you know, every time we do... Oh, Minna March! Every time we do combat, it's a chance that I might have to track all the way back. trying to get up here so I can send the guy who's up here. Noah, would you mind? I should write this all down. Myself to death. Well, we've been found. Okay, fine. You're dealing with me. So we're trying to fight. The usual, All right, That's there's that. Something a bit meatier. <laughs> Is this like a rare thing? The giant box Focus here. Focus. <laughs> I practically know this one by heart. Looks like this game has a lot more strategy to it than even we had in Xenoblade 2, considering you have to uh, consider how to pair up your arts. <laughs> Alright. Soldier's Husks, send off.
I jump down, I'm not getting back up. Nope. Let's keep going. have a quest. What happened? Are you okay? Is this uh not fun? I think it's a not fun. I mean Pene Pene sounds like a not fun name. What's the matter? Water. Pene Pene need moisture. Moisture? Shall we bring you some? Anything is fine. <laughs> Anything is fine so long as with wetness, uh, as filled with wetness, and a pan of dying of dry throat. Huh, okay then. Not sure what this is all about, but let's get the pond something to wet, wet his whistle. Collapse Trader Pond. Did friends bring moisturous things to Panna Panna? Now, what was it we needed? We have dance apples, black kiwis, dark grapes. Okay. Ah, there we go. It's nice how it tells you how much they're worth. I mean, after you already used some, but it does tell you how much they're worth. Because in Xenoblade 2, you just had to notice. There, was, there, there wasn't anything telling you afterwards how much that it was worth. Ah, Pena Pena, eternally grateful. Friends are good friends. Don't mention it. We're just glad you're okay. But what actually happened? Why were you all passed out in a place like this? It's story of great length, so Panna Panna choose not to tell it. Fair enough, that's fine by us. It all start when Panna Panna on way to Ferranus Hulk on the hillside, where apprentice wait. Panna Panna fall and belongings smash. Everything except hammer which Panna Panna carry on back get taken and broken by monsters. Panna Panna flat broke. Panna Panna on last legs, walking, walking, and no drop to drink. Oh, so you are going to tell us, okay. <sighs> chill, chill, apprentice of Panapana Panna must be looking forward to meeting. Thanks to friends, Panapana Panna is saved. We'll rest teensy bit more and then go see apprentice. Well, don't overdo it. The roads are dangerous. No worry for, uh, no worry for Panapana. Panna. Legs of Panapana Panna are very fast for running away. That won't do you much good if you're horizontal. Anyway, Panna Panna saved now, and Panna Panna pay you back. Panna Panna has been fully rehydrated. He's going to the hillside for Honest Hulk, where Shil Shil is waiting. We got three nop uh, silver Nopon coins, and some experience, gold, and SP. We're going up in the world. And 400 affinity with something. Okay, we got wolves attacking. Wolves are always aggressive. that I need to send off over here. Mia, would you do the honors? Lots of folks to send off over here.
I'm gonna head over this way, just because I can. This terrain looks, er, uh, reminds me a little of Torna. I mean, the terrain, uh, uh, Torna sank way too long ago for it to be Torna, but it looks like Torna. the stuck wolf. Let's go. I got a couple of hawks, uh, hawks groups for uh, fighting. We have one knuckle hawks versus uh, three regora ho hawkses. But if I do this, I get a knock one going. Here we go, guys. Let's give them the usual, Noah. Yes, the 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 This is a really small area to work in. You won! A little notch on my bow. Well, they were no match for us. Well, he got the blood pump at least. And honestly, this looks like a crater left by an Aegis. <laughs> hey, this one means business. You're dealing with me. This will keep you going. We have a container here. Let's just sneak a peek. All sorts of stuff. Is this like a rare thing? Somebody sent off over there. Oh. Did Malos just go and smack him? <laughs> uh. 
Uh, I see what happened. This is not good. I'll keep up the attack. Sounds good At least one went down. But both our healers are down, so we kind of just have to win. Good thing Noah's still up, because he's our only tank. And now we have just attackers left. This is fun. And we die. That was the thing. Uh. Tried to send a guy and ended up get hey, needing to be sent ourselves. All right, let's go. <laughs> Thankfully, this is not a no deaths game. Going. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. That's a lot of foes. I couldn't really follow that fight.
Al Gore's veneer. I don't know what a veneer is. That's fun. Let's try not to aggro him. There we go. What's up here? Here we go, guys. Let's give them the usual, Noah. You're dealing with me. This will keep me going. What's the enemy? You're dealing with me. This will keep me going. Goodbye. What's all the way up here? A whole lot of nothing. Okay, fine, whatever. At least we can look around the area. Wow, this is a big area. This is huge. Something tells me I won't be able to climb up that. Yeah, it looks like our, the entire area is just flowing down. Still, this is really nice being able to get the, the lookout, even if there's nothing else up here. those battle quotes will change as we progress to this story, but I'm under the impression we are still in Chapter 1. Ooh, hey, a container! What are you hiding, little guy? Nice. That little marker saying, hey, there's a pepito over here. Hmm, no, it's here not a pepito. Wow, 
Down you go. How are we doing on class ranks? Eight. Nine, seven, eight, eight. Okay. Lance wants something a bit meatier. this again. There's one. There we go. We finally got it. We're just getting warmed up. Let's send this guy. That was hard enough. Okay. Seriously though, this looks like the Aegis Hammer from uh, Temperantia. Another guy I need to send over there. Something so valuable here. Of 
course, it's right next to another tough fight. All right. Here we go, guys. Right on. Make sparks fly, Noah. trying to leave, but it just won't let me. I'm pressing A to sheath, but it won't let me do that either. Why have you not revived me yet? Matter of fact, it looks like Tyon wasn't even taking part in the fight. Okay. Of course, the reason why I was trying to leave this fight is because it wouldn't let me even start it. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Now we can actually do it. Wall of the Great Hand. Trying to figure out the fusion, the fight ended. Right. Let's push on. Time to do the right thing, eh? Affinity, there's another person out there we need to send. But it's right next to another large fight. Level 14, but it's a normal's house. So maybe we can do it. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. Right 
Down it goes. What were they gonna do? Make me yawn myself to death? Looks like Tyon has a tendency to get stuck on things. Rank 9. Rank 10! Their class you're playing has reached max rank. Change your, change your class would be recommended. Yeah, I was looking for that. Okay. Let's swap to another attacking class. Shadow Eye is not bad, but... I can do that. Damage from this side, this is knockback. Uh... Boost damage and attacking these enemies. But this says launch. We'll just do this one. She's the only one who maxed one out. I don't think it's a good idea to drop from this ring to anything else. Oh, good. You're dealing with me. This will keep you going. It's funny how the shield hammer is now an attacking glass. Considering it was a tank class in the last game. Hear that, Noah? Lance wants something a bit meatier. Similarly, the healer class of Twin Rings is now a tank class. Oh, seriously? It's right there, but there's no way to it. Oh, there is a way to it. It's just way back there. Okay. Is that, uh, wonder if there's another way somewhere. There is, just, you know, a long way off. Doesn't look like there's a way through down here. Powdered wheat. Isn't that just called flour? Just fight with focus. <laughs> I practically know this one by Make me yawn myself to death. Fight. 
Fight with focus. <laughs> I practically know this one by heart. Oh, oh the... this will keep me going. No way! There's stuff up there, but it's just stuff. Oh, that's what that... Okay. So it just means that it's an enemy that's making more of a thing. Okay. maxed out his class, so... Well, let's swap him over to Swordfire. So I gotta whack him! I can do that! And his arts for this... Knockback's fine. Air Slash matches with everything. Definitely want Sword Strike. I'll take that. And... I can change out the skills. But it's only to classes that they've mastered, so it doesn't matter too much. Yes, uni's the boss. All right, off to the lands because he just changed class. This is something decent, right? Quite a rare You think you're all that, do ya? You're dealing with me! Time to get cracked! Cracked out! More enemies! I'll keep them occupied! Ha! Airbag! You're dealing with me! Cheers for that! Power! Go away! Kind of goes. Make me yawn myself to death. What I was after hey, is this thing over here. Go, jump. Right on. Make sparks fly. Oh, no. Blue ring. Crack. I'll them. Cheers for that. Ah. Airbag. Break. Purple. I could have handled that on my own. Don't think this is the norm. There was a way to swap characters in battle, right? Holds the yellow switch and switch. Well, I tried that and it didn't seem to do anything, but I'll try it again.
Topographical info updated. Scene splatter. Looks like the Gomardi is not me. having fun with I'll this. I'll drag you along myself if I have to. I mean, I get that it's hot, but really? Whether we're talking food or weather, Mio does not take to heat. Ah. I knew this would happen. Heat's never bothered you, has it, Lance? Nope. I'm made of sterner stuff. Well, he's a machina. <laughs> Honestly. I'm starting to feel a little worn out. A spot to rest would be nice about now. Hey, look! There! Mimi, look! It's water! There's an oasis! Wa water Yeah, water! Are you sure about that? Water! Come on, let's go! Yeah! Oh, come on. Talk about overreacting. We should be thankful they're back in high spirits. Let's just hope it's not a mirage. Yeah. Alright, so that's our next objective. And considering those things, I think we're kind of being herded that way anyway. <laughs> Mia, are you all right? I just got a glimpse of hope. Guess I can hold on a while. Fun thing about Aspars, go, they have a tendency right to raise their own level. And it heals them fully when they do that. Up, oh, down he goes. What were they gonna do? Make me yawn myself to death. You think you're all that, do ya? You're dealing with me. Cheers for that. There we go. It swapped to days just as I hit. I have, might have more classes to change. There we go. Uh, you can swap over to this. I'll take real good care of the bad guys. And your arts. Frontward AoE is not that bad, but I think we'll keep this. Yes. 
I think she has enough aggro generation that I don't need to use the undamaging glow ring. Yeah, you can keep defensive soul. that looks like it has a crust of it in the center. Fight with focus. <laughs> I practically know this one by heart. Oh, cool. Smooth as always, Noah. Across the enemy! Oh, Ezra, you're dealing with me. This will keep it going. Hear that, Noah? Lance wants something a bit meatier. Come on, it's just a little further to the oasis. Keep it together. <sighs> just let me dive in. Lake Rosento. Not on our own. <laughs> you mop it. <laughs> Never do that again. Come on. You're already soaking wet anyway. What difference does it make? The difference is you're an asshole. What snuffing difference? Oh, I've got water in my ears now. I've got water in my ears now. <laughs> I've got something to take care of. I'll send it to you now. A map? From the survey branch. Annihilation events occur frequently here. Annihilation events? You mean... Oh, that! Look. That's just floating. It happens here too. Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> okay. Given our route, we should take the safest way possible. Very cautious of you. It's my duty to be. Thank you. Uh... Sure. Huh. <laughs> oh, that felt great. How are you feeling, Mio? Great, since I cooled off in the lake. Glad to hear it. I worked up a shocking appetite with all that moving about. I'm sure we still have some rations left. Grab some after you've rested. This is turning into quite the leisurely pleasant pleasure cruise, isn't it? Hey man, I seem to remember you agreeing to have a rest at the Oasis too. Sure, I judged it necessary to, uh, to take a short break and check the route. Hi on, come on, take a dip. Cool off that overheated cranium of yours. I don't think so. Even in a highly open desert locale with good sightlines like this, we must maintain a lookout at all times. Yeah, I guess you're right. 
Hey, thanks. I could go on, because of you. In fact, you've helped me out a lot of times since we joined forces, Tyon. Yeah, dude. If it wasn't for you, I don't know if I'd still be here in one piece. He is the healer. That's what I'm here for. To determine the best course of action, tactically and strategically. Hey, Tyon, do you think you could tell us the way out of this desert, then? Naturally. We bear further south, into the Rib uh, Ribby Flats. Sounds like another massive hike. On foot. If we got so much walking through the wilds ahead of us, why don't we make ha camp here for the day? Could probably do with topping up the water supplies too, I reckon. Not a terrible line of reasoning, however. Tyon, we've been hiking through a wasteland for a while. You need to rest the same as the rest of us. Didn't you admit as much just now? And what's more, I'm starving, too. Haha! <laughs> Atta girl! Manana's tummy hears someone talking about food! Riku, Manana, where did you get to? Went on a little search for tasty treats. Since we know at Lush Oasis, morsels even tastier than pack rations can be had. Pickle of taste buds make chuckle in heart and soul. Good for morale, good for mood. So Manana will keep eyes to ground in search of ever tastier treats. So you're going to be cooking something up for us, huh? Correct, Munchly. Manana's to a total diva when it comes to cuisine, I can confirm. But... Plan cuisine take two hours to make. In the meantime, please endure hunger with patience like well-behaved soldiers. What the spark? Two hours! Nothing's worth that kind of wait. Come on! All you need to do is chuck a few ingredients in the pot. Is there really that much to it? Meh! Such unkind and untrue words! Friends think food is nothing more than fuel for foolish meat sacks? Such rotten attitude! Banana can offer incredible tasty cuisine, not simply chuck stuff in pot, then deliver unceremoniously into mouth hole. Banana, would you like us to help you out with the cooking? Then maybe it would get our uh, get to our mouth holes a bit faster. Eh meh, acceptable. But if friends want to help Manana in cooking duties, certain boundary must be set. Tasting is 100% purview of Manana! Riku and Manana. Cooking and eating. Eating Manana's meals in a rest spot will temporarily increase the experience and rewards you receive from winning battles. Some rest spots are canteens where you can order food. Doing so will help Manana come up with new recipes that will order uh, offer new side effects. So get ordering. Now this is the right spot for a rest. Oh, we have to do it right now. Okay, fine. Manana's battle soup, eh? Sounds yum. In cook, you can co use the items you have gathered to cook delicious meals. Meals you can make are listed here with the required ingredients on the right. Select Manana's battle soup. That looks nice. Five percent experience and CP boost. Phew, I'm stuffed. Been a while since I picked out like that. Thanks for the feast. You really outdid yourself, Manana. I'm floored that you can create such stellar me meals here in the wilderness. Manana blush. She even went out on the battlefield with us, cooking for the soldiers. She carried that into battle? I think she wanted to do all she could for the troops' morale, especially on the front, where it's so easy to feel doubt or anxiety. Whoa, imagine that. But Manana also enjoyed travel with Mio and friends. Could not have discovered such amazeful ingredients otherwise. 
With new dishes and ingredients, repertoire of Manana go through roof! By the by, what do Riku do on Team of Noah and Friends? Riku provides support across board. In other words, do everything. Biggest talent lie in maintain of power frame. Also gym craft. You're pretty spectacular in your own right. Now that we can no longer rely on our colonies for supplies and improvements, he should indeed be an indispensable asset. Friends want to see Master Trick of Riku? Yeah, totally, show us! At this very moment... Riku cannot. Huh? Mate, you can't just pull the rug out from under our feet like that! Riku just not able to, uh, to do on sudden command. To make gems, require gathering of suitable materials first. Hey, Riku. Yes? Up until now, we've just relied on you for all our repairs and maintenance. But thinking about the road ahead, I wonder if it wouldn't be better if we learned to tweak our blades ourselves. Yeah, that. Mm-hmm. It's not a thing that can learn just by snapping fingers. If it's possible, though, I'd like to learn too. And me as well. Meh, fine. Riku Cave. We'll show a way of gym crafting to friends a special exception. First, have to collect materials, like said. Riku noticed Aspar during early, uh, <clears throat> earlier jaunt through Rikoth's wellspring. We'll make him need glaring eyeball from that. Banana's cooking can temporarily improve the powers, uh, the party's experience and G gain, item gathering ex uh, efficiency, etc. I've been feeling really puffed for the past while. Must be thanks to Manana's cooking. I always knew it was something special. Anna Panna rushed a while longer, and then head for Hillside for Honest Hulk, where she'll show waiting. You're going in the opposite direction, buddy. Whatever. See, Racine's platter has a gauge on the right underneath the uh, map, and it'll count down over time. Here we go, guys. I'll follow your lead. Let's go! 
Ether channel here. That. Mm. Mm. Uh, let's stay away from the level fifty one. from uh, giant footsteps. <laughs> we can jump, but it doesn't do much. All right. Odd square shard. Or ether channel. We have a lot of ether stored up now. At least now I know what causes things like that floating piece of land. And the thing that I called earlier looks like yeah, it looked like the Aegis oh, hammer. Yeah. Now I know what causes it. And that is frightening, because it looks like there is absolutely zero warning. Reef, you saw the Aspar around here, right? We should take it out quickly and obtain the materials. We've been spotted. Glow ring! This has got to be the Aspar. That's the one we have to take down? It looks a little tough. Hey, ain't nothing like a post-meal workout. Got your number, mate! Mm -hmm. 
It's evading literally everything. Oof, this thing's handing our arses to us. If we don't get a grip, we'll end up its pre mail workout instead. What friend's doing? There's six of you! What is point of numbers if all fight separate and not together? Fight together? Alright then, I guard, and then everyone else pile in while it's distracted. What, and then run right into the sparkler's jaws? Yeah, no. It's way better taking her sniping at it from a distance. Neither of those plans is effective against an Aspar, if you ask me. Mimi, do something. We'll never be able to fight together if everyone's got their own idea. Yeah, we have to pick a plan and stick with it. Starting a chain attack! A chain attack is a special powerful technique that allows party members to take turns strategically performing arts. Performing combos, canceling into arts, and achieving roll actions all build help build up the chain attack gauge. Once it's completely full, press plus to trigger the attack. Got it. Chain orders. Chain it's uh, about chain orders. Upon starting a chain attack, you will see three orders. You can compare the completion of bonuses to be gained by completing each order, and choose whose order to go with. First, choose the order whose order you want to follow. Increases defender aggro by 30% and grants attack up to out all allies. Reduces enemy physical defense by 30% during the chain attack. Attacks during chain attack gain a 60% chance to bypass defense. I think we'll go with this one. Executing an order. Select party members and attack using arts. Executing orders. Select party members and hit with arts to collect tactical points. TP with characters awarding different value. Uh, awarding different values. Reach 100% TP or more to complete the order. You can maximize the TP uh, bonus TP gain by using characters with the same affiliation or role as the order, or meeting other conditions to try out all different uh, all the different possibilities. Fulfill the criteria for the acting party member's role to impart special effects that can aid your chain attack. Use an attacker to make the first strike will net you a large amount of TP. Attack. Eh. Point limit. Attacking with a healer guarantees that the total TP doesn't exceed 99%. Back in action. Complete an order to, with a defender to reactivate the character with the most TP. Complete the order by, uh, successfully by reaching 100% TP. I'm gonna want to do it with her because the healer won't fill it. Hmm. 
about chain arts. Completing an order triggers a chain arc, adding a powerful attack to the sequence and handing the chain attack around. Party members can get another turn if you do well. You can choose another order and keep the chain going if the chain gauge isn't empty and you still have members who can act. Select the next order to continue the chain attack. Let's see. Attack up to all allies? It sounds like a good idea. can't actually finish this because we've only got two people left and they're both healers. Ending chain attacks. When the chain gauge is fully depleted, or when there are no available party members left who can act, the chain attack will end, and you'll be shown the results. Okay, I like chain attacks. They feel powerful. Whoa, that went way better than before. That's teamwork for you, huh? Riku rate it 3 out of 5 stars. Also have the feeling no end friends still, for lack of a better word, lacking. With practice, Riku think friends can pull off bigger and stronger special teamwork moves. Patronizing much, Fluffball? He's probably right, though. It's only been days since we started traveling together. We should start. Uh, we should learn each other's fighting styles little by little, and we're bound to see results. I fully agree. Uh, either way, we got Riku's whatchamacallit. Well, let's head for the Oasis. Oh ho ho! Time is nigh for Riku to impart teaching of gem crafting art. All right, he's maxed out the defender class, and I'll jump over to the other defender class. Set up his arts. We definitely want that, but not on the top. Giant swing, I think. Giant swing. That maxed out. You finished both healer classes. I'm to start mixing it up a little.
Oh dear, if this is listed in chronological, that looks like we're going to have a lot of classes. Let's see, based off of the... If there's no scroll bar, then that's a maximum of... 28? Well, this will be fun. This is gonna be a long game. <laughs> We definitely don't need any more defenders. Uh, you can go over to Sword Fighter, I guess. I'll hit him, and then I'm gonna hit him again. He maxed out. <sighs> Again, we don't need any more. We need someone on healer, so I'm gonna have to swap someone over to healer eventually. Uh, um, after this. I'll take the offensive then. what that is. Hmm. Someone needs to swap. You. You swap. You'll be a healer. Um... Because you're only a level one. Do you swap the healer? Uh, I need someone to be a healer. I can yeah, he'll do things. Support. Having only one uh, defender is perfectly fine anyway. I don't want that at top. Put power ring at the top. Knockback is not a bad idea, but I think I'm gonna do... Art Evasion? I think I'll do Evasion. And of course we need to set up skills to match these. He's an attacker. Attacker, you definitely don't need this. You can take that, I guess. And this will be better. Uh, fighting Frost is best. And defensive soul is best. All right. We've got to practice our chain attacks more often. 
when they land, they really land. Let's dish them out whenever we can. Oh, yeah. Hey, this one means business. I see you. Let it fly away. At least I don't have to worry about running out of, uh, about someone else getting the aggro now. Because I only have one defensive. Only one tank means I don't have to worry about anyone else getting aggro. We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. I'm the girl with the gall. All under control. Leave it to me. Yes, Uni's the boss. Yeah, I want to swap to someone who's using Noah's class, because, uh, I like it. <laughs> Guys, get ready to fight! Ourselves. It's a tough break, but we'll just have to take things as they come. Okay, since friends creaking with anticipation, Riku teach art of gem, <laughs> gem crafting. In point of fact, for craft gems, in addition to materials that gather earlier, also need gemstone for base. Ah, there's more to it than I thought. But no cause for concernment. This time Riku have on reserve, so we use that. Dimstone. Sharp thinking, Riku. Thanks. Now, Riku set up apparatus. Hey! I know what that is. The mobile ether furnace. First step, set gemstone here. That work as base substrate, into which materials introduced and then processed. When do so, can express various useful effects. Finally, equip and enjoy. Right, right. If friends grasp principle, all that left is put into <laughs> is to put in practice. Crafting gems. At rest spots, you can use items to craft gems. They can have a number of beneficial effects for characters when equipped on them, so craft as many as you can. Ironclad, eh? Cool. I've been wanting one of those. In the craft gems menu, you can you can use the items you have gathered to craft gems. The gem can only be crafted once you've gathered all of uh, gathered all the necessary materials. For uh, for now, try cra uh, crafting ironclad one. Right, all done. Now that you have crafted a gem, exit the menu. And that concludes process. Wow, that took yonks. 
should not expect to go as fast or smooth uh, as when doing colony with property uh, equipment. Still, I think we got the gist. It might go quicker the second time around. Noah, please to apply product now. I'm on it. I mean gems. Once crafted, gems can be equipped by any number of party members via character's gems in the main menu. As your characters gain levels, they'll be uh, they'll eventually be able to equip up to, to a total of three gems. Each gem grants a unique effect. Customize them as suits your role and battle style. Gems can be equipped to each character. Select characters now. Now select gems in the character menu. Select a gem slot. You only have one now, but as you level up, you go. You can unlock a maximum of three slots. Select the gem you want to equip from the list. Oh, oh wow! There's there's a lot, huh? Okay. Now that you have equipped the gem, exit the menu. There we go. Let's see just how strong it's gotten, yeah? It's already nighttime. Can't can it wait till morning? Oh, you're right. With right materials, can create gems with all kinds of properties. Master art of gem crafting, and even Gonzales become easy peasy like tiny little bunnet. When find new materials, we can craft new gems together. Banana can also can make all sorts of dishes if have big choice of ingredients. And also arrange dishes in courses, and menus, and accord to color, and... Alright, put a sock in it, we get it! Well, I think that's probably enough for today. Let's bunk down. Guess I'll take first watch. We might be able to conserve more energy if we leave before sunrise. Yeah, thanks. Good night. Not as usual. We better cover as much distance as we can before it gets even hotter. I estimate we're about halfway through this wilderness now. Hang in there, Mimi. You can do it. Yeah, I guess. Alright, let's roll out. Roger, we'll push on until the ribeye fe uh, flats. Ribby flats. Sounds like we're gonna have a lot of brogs there. Quest complete. Cooking with Manana and gym crafting with Riku are going to come in very handy for your adventure. Don't neglect either. She doesn't have anything new to say. Let's just get going. At the very least, the range should cool off the place a little bit. I think I can guess that Senna's element is fire, but I think Mio might be water? I'm not totally certain on that one. <laughs> we made it to morning. Mio, are you dealing better with the heat? I'm doing fine today, thanks. I thought quite better than yesterday, anyway. Well, it is raining. You think you're all that, do you? Air, you're dealing with me. Kid, you're dead. Right. Hey, I've the enemy. Big you're dealing with me. Appreciate it. Giant. 
And I was the MVP. You're all thinking it. Here we go, guys. I'll follow your lead. I'll have to get on your leg. You're dealing with me. Cheers, you're a dead. Break! Let your fly, Blade! Don't strike! I'll keep the enemies on me. All right, keep it coming. Love it, I'll keep it coming. Good going, Unit. Let your fly, Blade! Come on. Keep up the pressure. Run down it goes. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. Hmm? Yeah, they're all the same. They're all normal. And I was the MVP. You're all thinking it. Okay, we got this guy over here. So much to see, huh? Dome of Stall. All the way out there? You know what? We'll do it. Goodbye. Too easy. Come after me, and that's what you get. <sighs> if only you didn't charge off on your own. Big impact! Good heal! Butterfly! Solar 
Oh, come on. Well, we won anyway. Uni, I'm asking you. Please work with me a little. You are? You're supposed to be following me. Be at rest. There's that. Not moving any closer to that guy. There is a container out there I might be able to get to. Okay, fine. Let's just move over to our objective. Between on uh, no, it's quests. Here we go. Still don't have a hi firefighting hydro jet. Funny how we can still complete stuff for folks in Colony, uh, Colony Nine. Not like we can go there. that are better than before. Also, gyms... I said gyms could be equipped by everyone. Alright, then we'll just do that. 
everyone gets plus 100 HP. Oh, look, Kahuna, dude. It might be morning for you, but it is the afternoon uh, here. How am I doing? I am doing well. This game has opened up a lot. You're playing Xenoblade 1 Definitive Edition? Nice! Twitch is running extremely well, no delays at well, uh, no delays at all. I, uh, I changed up my, um, settings last week. Um, now it's doing, uh, 4,500 uh, 4, kilobits per second, because it's doing, um, 1080p30. Um, this game is locked at 30 FPS, so I don't see any, any major difference that might happen from that, so... Yeah, you get that. Definitely the knob on strap is amazing, uh, but... So about the time you got your Switch, two years ago, you were a fan of uh, a channel that's Let's Play in Xenoblade 2, and without any research about the game, you bought it and played about 10 hours of it. But now you're picking it up again. Well, Xenoblade 1 is good to play before Xenoblade 2, but playing it after doesn't matter too much. But you definitely want to play both before you play Xenoblade 3. Because Xenoblade 3 picks up where Xenoblade... Uh, picks up... Uh, a good deal after both of them left off, but it's using both of them. You're playing Xenoblade 1 now. Okay. But yeah, definitely good to play both 1 and 2 before 3, because if you don't know 1 and 2, 3 might be a little confusing. It's already confusing, but it'd be even more confusing. <laughs> the reason why it's confusing is just story things, because I'm right at the start of the game. Obviously, the story is going to clear up as you go through it. You know what, I like that better, I think. No, Beast Fang Necklace is good. <laughs> and you... You watched all the cutscenes for it? Oh, come on. But you would still want to play Xenoblade 2 before playing Xenoblade 3 because the combat mechanics from Xenoblade 2 are used in 3. <laughs> they merged the combat mechanics between Xenoblade 1 and Xenoblade 2 into Xenoblade 3. It's very interesting. Oh, Xenoblade 1 is definitely best if you don't know what's going on. Xenoblade 2 is pretty okay, if, even if you know what's going on.
All right, let's get going. Everyone now has a hundred more HP. Hey, can I ask you something? Hmm? It's special, isn't it? Your blade, I mean. Um... Sometimes one part of it glows. Why is that? Oh. You can tell. That's amazing. It's hard not to. Oh, right. Is it a secret? No. I can tell you. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fair. Noah, my man! Are you still playing around with that little toy? Have you considered a knock-on weapon? You might actually get somewhere with that. Oi! You deaf or what, Noah? Garvel? Noah, this is bad. <laughs> Not even a peep. Don't need to pay us any attention. Oh, please. I wasn't ignoring you. Once I finish this set, we can chat! <gasps> well, what were you saying? Noah! For dead weight, you're a right snuffing peacock! Dude knows how to dodge. <clears throat> well, anything else? You snuffing weakling! Blast it all! Oh, you get it now! 
Lunch! Break it up now. Didn't know you'd be so petty, Garvel. <laughs> Ain't got no time for this, musclehead. Wanna say that again? <laughs> we'll settle this properly in tomorrow's trial. Move it! <laughs> Noah, are you okay? How does this answer the question? Don't let it get to you. Guys like that are the first ones to snuff it in a real battle. No, I'm not worried about him. I really can't call my weapon, though. I worry I'll end up being a burden. Never thought that here, not even once. Thanks. Kind of you to say. It's just the truth. Their marks start off mostly red, but they turn Does gray as they age. Since it broke. The trial. It's tomorrow. I'm gonna need a new weapon for that. What's this? Magic sword. Lucky seven. In distant past were seven legendary swordsmith pawn. Over course of seven years, forged sword from seven types of steel. No other sword like it in existing. Magic? Lucky seven? Let's. Please to give good cleave with blade and split clean in halves. Sure about that. Better not pull some you break it, you bought it. Sneaky sort of deal. Riku would never dream. Just put all of heft into mighty swing. Weird ask. Uh, sure. You want me to cut it? I'll cut it, I guess. Here it comes. Queen's beans. There's not even a nick in it. Friends surprised? Indeed, it's most prized of swords. Even armor of Ferronis gets sliced to itsy bits. I think... I'll pass. Pass? So you not have need for? Yeah, it's too strong. Hmm... Noah want Lance and friends to kick buckets? No, what the spark? Same as letting friends die. No, it's not. If friends not fight, cannot survive. Sure, but I don't need to use your sword. Then, why Noah not call Blade? It's not our choice, I just can't. False. Riku see through like transparent. <sighs> Noah can call Blade. Just no big desire of fighting spirit. Riku? Hey, is he serious? <sighs> Noah? What the? All this time? Huh? If death is not option, should live. Only way is fight like life depends. Thinking of self alone is way of coward. Though, Rico no feeling well. I'm afraid. Of fighting, you mean? Of this world. It's so brutal and relentless. And I'm afraid of what we might become. Mate. Oh ho ho! Riku knew Noah was hero material. Huh? Ha. <laughs> it true this sword possess incredible power. Might even rob enemies of many much lives, yes. But only those who understand nature of terror have right to wield. Eh, quoth Master Pon of Riku, anyhaps. <sighs> so, if Noah can call Blade now, can still keep Lucky Seven. Maybe in some kind of disguise. In different words, can turn it into sheath. Sheath? Can use it in fights like normal. But if ever push come to shove, time will come when Noah truly need Lucky Seven's strength. Then is only matter of drawing. When I truly need its strength. Exact. If Noah never lose sight of that feeling, one day, such time surely come. That is, if I can master it. If felt a master, just give back. 
can pick out different one. Ah, uh, right. Please not to feel specially indebted to Riku. Just take. No need for overthinkings. <laughs> okay. Wow. I accept your offer. Oh, and Riku? What is? Mind if I change the name? Me? Lucky Seven just isn't doing it for me. What's it now, Monado? <laughs> you don't like too much that the the reason for Xenoblade One is revenge. Well, revenge only takes you so far. They found that out. So, what name did you end up picking? Huh? Um, name. Uh huh. You don't want to say? Or what? Is it that embarrassing? N no, it's not embarrassing. That's not it. <laughs> I'm getting strong emotional vibes here. I wouldn't say emotional, per se. Rather... something I miss. Yeah. <sighs> you know... You're the second one that's noticed this weapon. Really? Is that something special? It is. And the first? Who was it? She's incredible. And we owe her our lives. I don't actually know the uh, name. Oh, it's her, isn't it? Changing the time! Go to system change time in the menu to uh, change the time of day to whatever you want it to be. We can finally do that. Okay. Didn't warp us anywhere. Here we go, guys. I'll follow your lead. I was reading, uh, I was reading chat during the cutscene, but since it's my first time seeing the cutscenes, I'm also not speaking to chat while I'm doing cutscenes. Alright, we can set down a ladder. And I was the MVP. You were all thinking it. Uh, what do I do again? Okay. Have it. All right. We have a ladder now. And we're about to hit another cutscene. Isle Valley.
footprints. This will be sketchy. Yeah, agreed. What friends afraid of? Hmm. I'm seeing signs of patrols. Was it Colony Four? Colony Four. Colony of Bad But Elites, led by a commander of great repute. Whole rest of Kevis acknowledge their superiority. Are you certain? This is Neil Valley. Right. Like Riku said. But how can this be? How can their zone of control extend this far out? Huh? Anyone feel that? Uh oh. <gasps> a quake? Hmm. That's not just a quake. No. It's. Over there! Oh boy. Looks like they bought the <laughs> brought the entire colony out to take care of the six of us. No, the not on those guys. They're not fighters anyway. There you are, you monster. Us monsters. You mean Silvercoat Athel? You know about her? Even in Agnes, the name has spread far and wide. Silvercoat Athel. A veteran soldier unmatched in strength. People would whisper about how she fell three colonies at once with just a hundred troops. Yeah, but this is Ethel. We know her name, so? So, she helped us out once before. Sure. She was strong. See the red in her eyes? She could still help. She's not going to. Noah? It might not work, but... Noah! It's all right. Ethel! It's me! Noah from Colony 9! You know us! You saved us back in Colony 14! You raised my blade! You must remember! You say I helped you! In Colony 14! You did? Really? I've no recollection of helping. You! <laughs> well, at least now we know what they're seeing us as. Pointless. Sorry. I thought I could convince her. Should have known it wouldn't work. Taking cover. Bad move. Very well done, Ethel. I do so love your loyalty. Now, the enemy is before you. Chase them to the ends of the world. Not a single one of them can escape. How in the world is there a city if we're causing such a uh, ruckus? The uh, Gorge of Odin. Hello? This is something decent, right? You itching to get wrecked! I see! 
Almost done. Yes. Okay. No amount of healing is gonna help if that thing hits us. Uh, yeah, I know. We should retreat under cover then. All under control. I'll do my best. Ah, get away! You itching to get wrecked? Oh boy, I can't do it. a target lock. Let's just get rid of this guy. Good going, you need. I'll help you. Quit being an idiot and stay back. Gemini, help goes. That'll take care of me. Are I attacking? Goodbye. Good thing we found this. Why was Ethel back? No, we... let's just clear out for now. We can think about the why later. Because we look like shadowy monsters. Yep, just keep them coming. No problem. Look out! Risky business. Doesn't help that their cannons are way too accurate. They shouldn't be able to see us from over there. How are they no location of Banana and friends? The iris. There? Her red iris is doing this. It's relaying our exact position to her troops. Snuff this! Lads, six o'clock! Spark! Again! The soldiers, their whole squad, those heartless mudders. Guys, pull back to the cave. What cave? We're sitting bunnets out here. In there, we can take cover from the volleys. And after that? Think about that later. No plan B. I didn't have time. You can't run from me, Brett. I've got my eye on you. Black fog? Really? Suddenly fog? Ah, <laughs> uh, no big deal. It'll hardly slow me down. I still have eyes on the prize. Interesting. This is our first time here, isn't it? Fennel Cave! We have to stay in the fog. I don't like this fog one bit. More enemies! What do we do? Air, and we have to keep moving forward because otherwise these things will catch up with us. Got it!
let's get going. Not really any time to explore right now, but let's just go. A rescuer. More enemies. What do we do? Or the caterpillars, they don't do anything. Side. I should at least keep the bigger things away. Hopefully. Is acting strangely. Something's off. Off how? Even when we engage, the other soldiers don't provide backup. It's like none of them have been given orders. You're overthinking it. I thought I was at first. Hey, Noah. Yeah, I agree with Tyon. They did seem kind of slow to respond. Oh no. Oh no, what? It's the Black Fog. We knew that. Hey, can we take five? What need from If shopping, please wait a while. Sorry to pop up out of nowhere, but... We've come on Shill Shill's order. Ah, that thing. If on stone, here stone is. Red Knop on Pebble. Will that be all? If so, Kakino need, uh, need to make tracks. Rude, but okay. 
Yakino have wings full because Totudu ran off somewhere. Totudu have tendency for wandering feet. If you're busy, then we won't bother you any further. Thanks for this. Yes, good hello! What you got? Where's the ones that sell uh, that do nothing but sell? Sold. Anyway, uh, I don't think any of these are particularly good. Boost damage by 10% for every enemy in battle? That's not bad! That is not bad. But it could be better. Window shopping, very bad habit. <laughs> Terrible fuss kicking up from inside of cave. Something to do with friends, maybe? Hmm? Um, yeah, maybe. In times of hard, friends should remember fruit of draining. That, and do shopping. Draining, eh? That makes sense. Not sure about shopping, though. Be, uh, be properly equipped is very important. Therefore, buy from Kikino or risk being dead by roadside and Ferris dinner. You know, you've got to take regular breaks. We can craft gems. We can upgrade this, but we can also get some other things. We've got Steady Striker shortens auto attack interval. Uh, we have double strike chance. Canceling boost damage by 25%. I want that. Right. Oh, but it costs not on coins. Okay. Seriously, low battery? Hold on a second. I'll fix that. And we're back. Let's see. is aggro generated. Increases duration of buff effects. Boosts the power of buff effects. Boosts the speed of ally revival. And raises healing by five. That's not bad. Oh. So we can revive them with more HP. Or we can boost the speed. I think I'll go with this. Right. All done. I think we'll find this useful. Oh, you can craft it with coins instead of items, I see. So if you don't have the items, then you can just use coins. I see. Start each battle with aggro. That's actually not bad. I think I might do that. Also, ultimate counter. That sounds really nice, too. Right. All done. I think we'll find this useful. 
find this useful. I'll grab both of these. Pretty good, right? I think we'll find this useful. I don't want to upgrade any of these. I think for now, no. Right, all done. I think we'll find this useful. Can't upgrade those. I can actually upgrade this, but I don't particularly care for it. They just made me make it. Find this useful. Pretty good, right? I think we'll find this useful. Pretty good, right? I think we'll find this useful. It's nice how we can upgrade them like this, though. And it costs ether cylinders to make these better, too. Right. All done. I think we'll find this useful. Pretty good, right? I think we'll find this useful. I think that's all we're gonna do for now. I'm eager to run some tests. We'll cook. She only has one item, huh? Yeah, it only had five minutes left. Is everyone finished? Versus this gives forty five minutes. Okay. And we'll save. Just part of the protocol, in it. And clean our clothes. Ah, there we go. I think it'll be fine. Okay. Next on the list is. Now I can explore a little bit. Be a while. Because people, it seems they have stopped coming. But I can't go any further back than that anyway. So, how are we doing? I'll just keep going. End up a walking sandcastle. Shall we deal with this? I never equip the gyms. That's okay, I'll just go in and fix that after this fight. But, um, making all those gems doesn't do me any good if I don't go and equip them. Use the healer. Uh, let's do this one.
Oh boy, they are still coming. That's fun. That one spot apparently doesn't have any black fog. Conquer the elite. That should help. Especially considering Noah just died. That was fun. I didn't know they were still coming, so I thought I could take care of an elite, and then I didn't. Now we can take care of this thing. And now we can harvest Ether. Which was our entire point of doing that. This 
This part doesn't notice us. Let's move on. Light at the end of the tunnel. Something so valuable. Queen's wings, finally. So much to see, huh? Henchman's seat. We can get down from the left side. With any luck, we can lead them the wrong way. Huh. It's the same colony. How in the world did they get there? Ethel! So unfortunate. She read us like a book. Not really Ethel, anywhere else to go. Do you really not recognize us at all? Disgusting. Huh? The sight of you things speaking the words of man. It makes my skin crawl. Huh? We'll never get through. Come off it. Just what the spark does she see us as? Gogols? She's right there. Why don't you ask her? I might we'll get a straight answer. Silver coat apple. Keeps moving around. It's making this hard. Focus on this guy. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. The more we take care of uh, take care of these guys, uh, you know, we'll just follow later. The more we take care of these other guys, the faster this will go. Oh boy, Noah's down. We lose. I need to have another healer. This is impossible. Retry battle? Uh, no. I need to change. Uh, I need to change my characters out. <laughs> Someone needs to be a healer. You can be your original class. How about that? Uh, no, actually, you can say this, but someone needs to change out. You do this. Support you. Got it. Gems, you want? Yeah, that. Skills. Uh, defensive soul. What are you on? Looks like encounter. I'll keep that. Arts. My upper screen's not bad. Solid stance is also good. Let's do that. Uh, and then you want. AoE healing. AoE evasion up. Evasion down and sleep. I think we'll keep it as is. We need this. 
I'm not gonna be able to finish it otherwise. Um, Big that's it. I don't want to play as a best. healer. Come on, who else? Here we go. Nowhere to run. Prepare yourself. She's not giving us much choice. Stop oh, leader. Take care of the Kevin's blocker because this guy's annoying. I can't get around. And as soon as I do, he changes. There's a reason why I have two healers now. This is not going well. Both our healers are down! Well, we lost again, so I'm going to go back to the campsite and raise our level. Because this this is not going well. Yes, you need the buff. Yeah, we'll do that. I definitely feel stronger. That should help.
I'm playing as uh, Senna because it's the easiest to play as when I'm f fighting against like a dozen foes. A sandstorm. Watch where you tread. Our healers are down, of course they are. My goodness, I cannot win this. Yeah, this is bad. I can still do this. No, you can't. I don't have anything else I can do. I just have to keep retrying until I win. Ooh, I hit level 20. So I have more stuff. Okay. This is gonna help. Uh, let's see. More gems. All right, that sounds good. should help, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Just watch! 
Alright, down to just her. This should be easier. Yeah, this is doing way better. Chain attack time. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll do this one. Start with these guys. Um, I want this. And then we'll do this. I think we'll do this one. Kill. There we go. She's way too good. Well, I guess we don't call her Silvercoat Ethel for nothing, eh? Killing her. Yes, but what happened? She just stopped. What? What am I fighting against here? Maybe now. Ethel, it's me. It's Noah! Did you say Noah? Ethel! Oh, it needs must. 
you agree? It's the big bad boss. Boom! Console K. Interlink. Press left to have the character you're controlling interlink with their partner. The Aurora's form is both resilient and powerful. Boys and girls. I can't do it with anyone other than him. Interlink. When two characters are interlinked, you can use your office arts as much as you want, but be aware that the heat gauge will fill up over time. If the heat gauge fills up all the way, the inter uh, interlink will be cancelled, leaving you unable to interlink for a while. You can cancel an interlink at any time by pressing down. This should feel considerable damage, even to the most Can't do interlink yet, got it. Only those two can do interlink. That's not to say I can't do everyone else's arts. for this. Alright, time for a chain tap. this one. Alright. We'll start with you. And I think we can finish with this. Yeah, there we go. gonna finish it all by himself. Overkill! Chain attacks are awesome. Ninety-nine! We'll do this one. 
Well, it's gone. <laughs> this is the entire thing all by itself. Something's wrong. The light's being drawn in. Same as when Noah and Mimi. But he can do it by himself. <gasps> he transformed. He looks exactly like that other one. That Iris. So he was the one controlling the troops. Mobius. But he's looking pretty hurt. Come on! What? His wounds. They look like they're healing. He's drawing it straight out of the troops. Again. No way. He's stealing from the clocks. <laughs> My dear boy, your perfect intuition is shit. I'm not stealing from them. I, as Mobius, have the right to do with the flame clocks as I please. You may hurt me as much as your heart's desire, but where there is life and vitality, I'm afraid I shall not fall. Come now, why don't you give it your best shot and have at me? <laughs> if you think you can. Stop attacking! Uni! Lance! You must be fucking joking! If we let up now, he'll take us down! But... our friends from Colony 4! Wake up, Noah! They're not your friends anymore! They're his fuel! <gasps> Even so! <laughs> <laughs> These soldiers will nourish me like... Glitter radishes in season, and we can always grow plenty more. If I need a little extra, I can pluck them whenever I want. <sighs> He's killing more of our friends, the more we hit him. There has got to be a way. What if we... But then... What? Did you think of something? <sighs> Come on! The flame clock. What if we smashed it? You what? How should I know something like... Do you mean... But... What if we just end up killing everybody? If we keep fighting like this, we're all dead. Rock in a hard place, huh? Whatever life is lost, I won't let you shoulder it all alone. Mia. <sighs> I think it's about time we entered the final act. All right. We'll try it. Lance! What's up? Draw his attention for me. And then what? I'll get in close and destroy the flame clock. What? If you do that, we've got to. It's the only way. On my head be it! The spark you on about? I'm not gonna let you take the fall alone. Snuff it! 
fine. Out of your way. Get going, Uni. Cover fire. Leave it to me. Tyon, Zeta, we need you too. Huh? <laughs> Understood. Just say when, guys. Thanks, everyone. I'll count down from three. Three, two, one. Let's go! <laughs> I know what you're thinking. However... If I keep on firing pot shots, I'm bound to hit one of you sooner or later, preferably sooner! Time for the defenders. Healing Blast. My words. They're already gone. Did, did I? I? <gasps> I, I did, did this. Whoa. There's, There's time, time for that, that later. Ah, oh, right. Noah, Leo, now's our chance. Yeah! What the fuck? This is absurd! Get to your damn thing! Ugh. Where are they? Where? Where have they gone? I can't see! Can't see anything! Hey, yeah. Why, little... When did you get the jump on me? That case... Now you thought I was your life, but I fucking can't. I can't heal. Not enough, nothing shall. Go now, do it. Leo. Yeah. Huh? Did I not do it? How is it so strong? And we'll try. No use.
all be okay. Noah and friends will set things right. Even armor of Veronis gets sliced. Yep. Itsy bits. That blade. If you can really, really take, take Veronis clean, clean out, then maybe. Mio, Mio. try again. Cancel, Cancel the interlink, interlink after we jump. jump. What's the plan? Looks like the time's come. What are you talking about? Fine then. Ready when you are. No. What are you? Oh, he has a special blade, huh? They put their inner link back. No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay, I was like. Seems she only lost consciousness. Right. That's good. Which leaves someone who deserves a real thrashing. Playing with our lives like they're nothing. You're dead meat. Yeah, that sword attack that <laughs> got everything. So. This. Cancel. You have a different one. Link you up. And cancel. And you have a separate one. Let's go. And back over here. I can just pretty freely swap between these guys. We can chain attack. Let's go. I've got an idea. Do you think this plan might work? I just thought of a great idea. Chance to bypass the fence. Check out what I've got in mind. I use my 
attack up. So what I wanted to say during the cutscene uh, is while this uh, particular one is very uh, female, <laughs> and that must be really weird for Tyon. <laughs> And done. No! No! We didn't get overkill this time, but... Look at this ugly mother's face. Yeah. Stuck tight. How did you get this thing off? Ah. <gasps> this guy. He's so different from us. Is this what consoles look like? All wrinkled. They grow Just old. Just like Guernica. Is this what aging's like? I don't know. Hers is all grey. She must be at the very end of her life. Ah, oh, it's you. I see. I'm so sorry. 
All I remember is that I was fighting against some abhorrent creatures. And you tell me it was you. So this is the Consul. This is how he really looks. He's fading. Just like during a homecoming. Nope. No way. You're not sending him on. You realize how messed up that is? Huh? You think so? How do you not... Think about the things this guy did! He tried to kill us all, and rob the soldiers of their remaining life. You're right. Both of you are right. And Mio? Honestly? I'm not sure I would. Okay. He's playing oh, anyway. I'll just do it anyway. Just now, I felt his essence brush past me. It felt just the same as ours. So, I feel I have to do this, you know? Mm. Mew, have you ever touched a mote of light from a Kavesi? <sighs> They're the same as ours. On the other side, the people live hoping the same things as us. Well, he's started now. Sometimes, he's just too kind. That or he just loves his job. He too by the book. An airhead. That's what he is. Yeah. Don't think he's thinking about it too deeply. Just doing it because it's part of his nature, eh? Hmm. Weirdo. I concur. Mimi. Sorry. You didn't have to help. It's fine. It's our duty. I'm worried I didn't play well. But why? You did it expertly. Just like last time. I still... I can't stop shaking. Because of the flame clock? Yeah. I was... terrified. Still, all thanks to your decision, we're alive. You're really... something. It was... a team effort. What happens to the soldiers lacking a flame clock then? I know they can transfer around between flame clocks because these people have mentioned moving between different colonies. So now all these soldiers lack a flame clock. Do they just have no bonuses? Might be it. Commander! You're Agnes! Hey, hold on. Lower your weapons, Boliaris. Come again? I'll explain everything to you later. Please, Boliaris. We're a third party. Right. Sure. Oh. 
Then it seems the flame clock is indeed gone, as you say. And yet, I'm seeing nothing of these symbols you speak of. It seems evident you possess something that we do not have. I see. Sorry for getting you involved. No need to apologize. Exceptional as this is, I consider it a blessing to be freed from constant battle. Glad to hear you say that. I was pretty worried. Are you sure it's okay for us to be hanging around here? My troops are under strict orders. It's true you three are affiliated with Agnes, but we also owe you our lives. We should count our blessings, no? This feels awkward. Of we can course it, it does. Out. Sorry. This is kind of our fault. Ah. Don't worry about it. You heard Ethel, right? Hmm. Noah's special talent art. Infinity Blade is Noah's unique talent art that he can equip regardless of his class. It lets him unsheathe Lucky 7 to deal damage that bypasses defense. Alright, now for Robberus. In the main menu- Oh, we have a skill tree! <laughs> That's new. <laughs> okay. In the, in the main menu, go to Characters Interlink Soul Tree to access a menu where you can spend SP you earned in battle to upgrade the character's Ouroboros form. Characters are strengthened on an individual basis by using the Soul Tree system. Now switch to Noah's Ouroboros form from the Interlink menu. The Soul Tree is used to strengthen a character's Ouroboros form. For starters, select the Attack Plus node, which forms the base of Noah's Soul Tree. You, found power. you can continue upgrading the Soul Tree as long as you have enough SP to uh, Soul Points to do so. Out of Skill Points. Okay. So we have... Attack plus, attack up by 30, and cr uh, critical rate up. Um, boost damage date, uh, dealt when the ally has low HP, or is down. On critical, ignore enemy defense. Also increases critical hit damage bonus by 30%. Uh, we'll take that one. You found power. We need to learn a new art. AoE and Null Guard. And we have boost critical rate by 10%. I think that's useful. You found power. Grants a small increase to damage dealt based on heat gauge level. Slows heat gauge build up. Okay, we'll take that. You found power. Power. Boost damage dealt and critical rate by 10% on a critical hit. Uh, yes. You found power. I have enough left for one more. Yeah, I think we're going to continue down this road because I like the, uh, the reduced heat gauge buildup. Because it allows me to actually get to the, uh, the talent art. You found power. Canceling a robber's arts. 
Oh, we don't have canceling. So I don't have to wait. Whoops, I could have been using arts a lot more. <laughs> Activate the unlock arts canceling node on the character's soul tree to enable the canceling of arts and other arts. Canceling an art into an art. Oh, no, no never mind. Canceling an art into an art fills up the heat gauge, but it also charges up the talent art gauge and allows the art to come out quicker, making it an efficient source of damage. Yeah, let's continue with that. And we got rank up. Okay. Uh, so class, he's going to swap to uh, one of the healing classes, I guess. Leave the healing to me. Again, I don't want that up top. I want it, but I don't want it up top. Let's see, let's attack up. I generally like the stuff that I put on here. Uh, let's see. I don't like sleep. has another skill to put on. I want you to swap back to this. So I got a whacker. I can do that. Yeah, that sounds good. In that case, I'm going to swap these, though. Make sure that everyone's all filled on their stuff. You can take another gym. Skill and another gym. He has another art. Yes, you take that. Um, another skill and another gym. Check out accessories as well.
Uh... Nah. Actually, no, you might want that. Take that. Someone's taking that. Yeah, you will. And knock on strap is insane. Uh, let's see. Alright. Now I need to check out Interlink. Okay, it looks like I only get access to the Interlink menu from the folks from uh, Xenoblade 1. What skills for this? I see. So I'm gonna be uh, able to access that later, I'm sure. Healing power plus. A new power, eh? What are these? Then we have attack plus. I can't do anything but that. A new power, eh? Let's see. What are these? These all. One random buff to the party. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll take that. A new power, eh? A new power, eh? And now I can get key control. A new power, eh? Now, should I to revive incapacitated? Dexterity plus. I can enhance the art. Okay. Extends buff duration for all allies. Boost attack. I think I'll head over this way. That costs 150. Okay. Block rate plus. Check out this sick new skill. Again, I'm going to work my way over to stuff like this. So we have 5% chance to reflect. That's nice. Check out this sick new skill. Reduces damage taken by allies in a fixed radius by 20%. Check out this sick new skill. Okay. Check out this sick new skill. Attack up. Check out this sick new skill. And more heat control. Check out this sick new skill. All right. All right, I think that's good now. Recommended level for the Nopon Register is level 55. I guess we know about how what time will end up near the end of the game, huh? <laughs> Now that all these people don't have flame clocks, we can just run around and chat with them. Hey, container. I hope we can make use of this.
Only four central hangar. Let's use this. We didn't make it to the city today, but we did what find a start? friendly colony. I guess we kind of made them friendly to us, but hey, we did we did a lot of work. <laughs> Colony for command. Boliaris, never thought I'd see the day we'd get out from under the yoke of that sparking yeah, sparking flame clock. Honestly, it still doesn't feel completely real, but hey, I suppose we've just got to get used to it, our new reality. Please, make yourselves at home in the barracks. Look for the canopy next to the entrance post. I'm afraid you won't find much luxury, but it would be greatly appreciated if you could bear with us. Sorry. Hey. We're friendly, that's all we can ask for. Okay, so they they actually don't have a flame clock at all now. They can't even uh, they're not even transferring to a new flame clock. They simply don't have one, sort of like we do. Uh, sort of like how we are. It's just that we have a robberis and they do not. The commander, uh, the commander has instructed us to lay off you lot. And though you're Agnes, Agnes with turncoat Kevis. They said, but uh, where was that? This was a dirt rank colony, they said, but uh, they had silver coat ethyl with them. Here's the medical quarter. Ethel's an open-hearted person. She didn't hesitate to welcome Agnes into the fold. It's not quite easy, for, so easy for rank and file to like us, though. Getting used to it will take a little time, I think. Flame clock might be gone, but we still have the mark left on our bodies. I don't have anything really solid to base this on, but I think life energy and our time here in the flesh are distinct. But never mind that right now. What I am sure of is that we owe you so much for, uh, thanks for this life without constant war. Road to uh, Ribby Flats looks to be uh, looks to be blocked. It'll have been that landslip from when the Ferranis passed through. We're using a bit of Levinus power to clear it all up at the moment. You'll be informed as soon as we're done. Thanks. We much appreciate it. Just generally staying away from the, uh... 
mission marker while I explore this place a little. I think it will be quite a while before I am comfortable navigating these places. Rough. Proper, uh, proper cooking not exactly possible in the middle of barren wasteland. Mikoko and friends are rather likely to end up on menu of monsters instead. Meh meh. Any horrid thing could happen. I've got something you need. There's so much choice. Let's see. Window of opportunity. I don't need that. Boost critical rate. Boost agility. Boost dexterity. Boost attack. Eh. Nothing took your fancy. Nope. They yell at me for being a window shopper, but there really isn't anything that they have that I want. <laughs> Though who ultimately, uh, ultimately is our true enemy? Is it Agnes? Or the consuls? Or could it be you? Nah, I didn't mean it. But I don't think any of us can know for sure. The plot is thickening by the minute. There you are. Sorry, you are? I'm Sullen. Procurement Division, Colony 4. I got orders from the commander to set you up with a tent so you can use uh, during your stay here. Don't make yourselves at home. Thanks a lot. The commander told me something else as well. That you guys helped out everyone here at the colony, and we all owe you a lot. I'm afraid I won't have time to attend to you personally, but if there's anything you need while you're here, just let us know, okay? Well, I'll leave you to it. Perception. Well, doesn't seem like a nice person. Maybe we should go in and rest. Cool. Ah, uh, I think I'd like to take a bath first, actually. Hey, Unilove, if you're headed to the bath. Ew, you call me love? That just makes me feel weird. Let's just stick with plain old Uni, okay? The console we fought back there. Uh huh. Oddly, he was strikingly similar to our own console. Both sides are gonna have consoles. Why is that odd? More accurately, not just similar. They're the same. They're the same. Are they really? Our colonies regard each other as enemies. But if the consuls giving the orders are the same, it means... It means? Hmm. Come on. Just spit it out, man. A consuls such a big deal? Yes. I thought they were everywhere. Like your run-of-the-mill knock-on. <laughs> Riku refused to let Remark of Uni slide. Got that right? Knock-on a rare species world cannot live without. Protect at all cost. Uh, leaving Napon out of this, what's this mean? That these guys are mega suspicious? Yes. I suspect they may be more deeply involved than we thought. Involved how, though? With what? With the reason why we fight. With deciding our fate. Our fate. Yeah. And the queens? You think they're in cahoots? Maybe. What can you tell us about your queen? I think we've only laid eyes on her once. 
right? Yeah. To the at the home. Hi, Antia, I'm wearing a mask. She had long silver hair. Yep, real dignified. Proper pretty wings, too. Wings? Like yours, Uni. Yep, they had wings. Sort of, but they were much more of a shining white. Well, as for our queen, she was really elegant, refined and graceful. And her ears, they were super long. She was Gormani, huh? Hmm. Guess that means our queens are different folks, all right? The consuls are kind of like the queen's servants, right? The castles. Their role is to convey the queen's directives to the colonies, along with handling admin and decision making. So what? If we explain the deal to the queen, you think she might actually get the picture? Yeah? No. Pretty much. <sighs> I don't recommend getting your hopes up. Yeah. Oh, yeah? The queens sit at the very pinnacle of the hierarchy. So you think they won't even give us the time of day, huh? I'm saying they might be the same as the consuls, our enemy. What? Yeah. Also, somehow that consul, he became Mobius. Or maybe Mobius is the consuls. The situation's already dire enough. It'll be best to temper our expectations. <sighs> In Xenoblade 2, they said that everyone would be after Rex because he had Pyra, but it really didn't seem like that. It really didn't. It was just Torna. In this? Oh. Oh, they definitely stepped it up a notch. <laughs> Is that so? Colony 4. Henceforth, all orders are rescinded. Eliminate Ouroboros at all cost. Make this known throughout the colonies. Okay. Ouroboros has no place in this world. That looks there almost exactly like Nia. <laughs> must be erased without a trace. And I think that's Nia's voice actor too. <sighs> I sure hope the queen of the other one isn't Melia. <laughs> Yes. It's good to keep a record. We've endured the fierce fighting at Colony 4. And learned that the Consuls and Mobius are one and the same. Truths we took for granted continue to crumble at our feet. We have spent so long blindly walking the path set before us without question. But we are more curious now. Of our future selves. Of our purpose. So, split into three units, our main troops go wide, and first to make contact with Draws? What are you, a coward? What was that? Huh? I asked you what you said. You think I'm scared, is that it? I'll have you know, my plan is textbook. Drop it, Tyon. Let go! Colony 13 is a complete enigma. Our data is incomplete. It's just way too cautious, you clod. It's tedious, and it's dull. Can you see that? If we don't eat now, we'll starve. We don't have the time to mess around! What does... 
Their clocks Look, run in the opposite direction. Boy. I mean, we're Iron Lambda, yeah? The colony led by Commander Isard. And this is some no-name backwater. We hit from the side, and we hit hard. Am I wrong? <sighs> what we need is momentum. Gotta play hard to win big! Right, I see. One team draws the sentries away, then the main force She's can strike She's definitely on an ice blade. The flank will be left loosely defended. Seems optimal. Or blade eater. Is that right, Tyon? Huh? Yes. I feel like they're all blade eaters and not uh, actual, and uh, not uh, man eaters. All right. If that's your opinion, we'll approve it. They're not flesh yes, eaters. Either. I feel like they're all bless uh, blade eaters. Yes. If you say it'll work, I trust kind of weird if they were flesh Happy eaters. Tyon. Yes. Because those Commander, live kind of forever. <laughs> it's almost time. The new console should be arriving from the castle soon. Of course. On my way. My, that time already. And they're awakened from core crystals. Nimue. Why are you still using that gizmo? Now that's not very polite, Izzard. This mechanical gizmo is much more precise than the iris clock. And unaffected by the black fog. Right, Tyon? Huh? Uh, right. It's interesting how some of them are blade eaters. But not many. Well, I guess it'd be half, wouldn't it? I can't see a thing! Sergeant! Where are you? Sergeant! What? What's going on? <laughs> Should be an exit through the southern water vein. Head straight for that. And you, ma'am? We'll hold the line here. Keep them occupied. Begging your pardon, that's idiocy and certain death. Tie on. You can't. You all still have a future. Until the day of your homecoming, please just live. And here. Listen, I need you to live, Tyon. You must flee for the colony. Tyon, get moving! Hurry! How? How can I? Tyon! That's a backstory. Shouldn't have put so much stock in your irises, Kay. That is what you get. It's just bad luck. The plan was sound. If not for the black fog. It's all about the skin feel. You've only got eyes up front. That's why Kay lost. Sounds, the air, breathing. When you can feel all that, you don't need the iris. 
And for all that, you still slunk back, tail between legs. Are you forgetting that fact? <laughs> He's awful forgetful, isn't he? <laughs> so? I'm still breathing, and I... I had a ball with them kids, right until I had to scarper. Excuses a ten a penny. What are you implying? Excuse me? Is this a private party, or can I interject? I was thinking I might head out alone next. I bet he's Ardanian. You want to see with your own iris, eh? Pretty much. Plus, there's Izzard in Colony Lambda, right? It'll be an extremely amusing situation, don't you think? Yeah, we'll have fun, I'm sure. I'm just remembering the Ardanian Emperor's always being really short. <laughs> Hugo was short. <laughs> and then, uh... You know, I don't actually know Morag's brother's name. But he was short, too. <laughs> Goodest of mornings. Morning, Manana. Okay, everyone's here. We got word from Ethel a little while ago. There's something she wants to tell us, and we should go to the council room to hear it. Very well. We should say thanks for this tent, at least. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's go see what Ethel has to say, then. So, you guys were originally affiliated with Colony 9 and Colony Gamma, is that right? Must have caused quite a stir when word got out they produced we rebels. You think they're okay? Somehow I highly doubt that. I wish, I wish we could go and check. a flame clock is basically a signal to the castle that you're defying them, right? They already knocked us down to dirt rank. I shudder to think what the consequences might be this time. The flame clock really did get smashed. I, I can hardly believe it. I mean, I didn't even think you could smash a flame clock. All experimental data pointed to the contrary. Fascinating. You mean, you were trying to smash the flame, flame clock yourself? You got some orbs on you, mate. Can't actually see the flame clock. Bam Bam encounter super strong Bunnet. Almost become ba uh, Bam Bam Schmitzel. But Mega Bunnet just look, look just like normal Bunnet. Bam Bam never hear of such thing. So not be fooled by cute whiskerings. The thing about Levinus is, is that they can't operate for all that long. Even if you stock up on ether cylinders, you'll be out of fuel before you get to the next region. Not like a Feronis. Colony 4 checkpoint. Ah, there's the flame clock. Yeah, it's... It's broken. <laughs> Uh, 
There's a couple of containers, but I don't know how to get to them. Grab this and then I'll head back I in. We can make use of this. Hmm. Can we get to it from out here? Maybe. The container that I see over here. Looks like no. It'll be up there. Somewhere. Then there's that. Which I'll have to figure out as well. People in Colony 4 are certainly quick to accept things. You lost sleep, all right? Yeah, like a log. Thanks for the room. You cleaned it out just for us. Uh, don't sweat it. Just a token from us higher-ups. My iris is clocked. I couldn't quite believe it. So I went outside and hunted down a hox as a test. And? Didn't get snuffle. The flame clock didn't show, and neither did any moats. Looks like it's real. Yeah. We were baffled too, at first. Anyway, we're all thankful to you. Flame clocks don't work so good when you're dirt. Hated having to worry about when my number might be up. Wait, dirt? I thought Ethel's rank was silver. It was when she saved our hides, wasn't it? Well, snuff happens. Kamaravi. Heard of him? Call him the Smoldering. The greatest warrior in all of Agnes. And a commander loves to spar with the guy. I know him. They say his spear technique is unparalleled. That, and he's an ace for honest pilot. Wow. So Kamaravi and Ethel were rivals. That's right. We fought against him who knows how many times now. Took our share of damage, but then so did they. At one time, one of his Pharonis' knee joints blew clean out. Most likely it was a failure of maintenance. The commander could have ended it then and there. But no. Telling other people's tales again? Not very endearing. Cut it out. C commander! Uh, apologies, Mom. <laughs> I'm joking. Ethel? It became a tremendous scandal. The castle stripped our colony of our silver rank, demoting us to dirt. <sighs> but look. They were made the lowest of the low, and still they chose to stick by me, even though it meant having to live day to day. That is why I must prevail oh. over him. Huh? But you're... Free from the yoke of the flame clock, yes, certainly. However, this is another matter. What is it about, then? Hunger? Pride? Desire? Joy, maybe? It's a little hard to put into words, but something along those lines. I haven't all the time in the world, 
And my troops understand this full well. For me, well, all of us, really. A rematch with Kamaravi is everything. And that will give purpose to the remainder of our lives. A purpose to life. Right, okay. On an emotional level, I could understand. Wow, really? I didn't say I agreed. I just see her point of view, that's all. <sighs> all right now, hmm. let's put a pin in the philosophizing. When we talked last night, you said your destination was Sword March, as I recall. Right. Come along. Oh, hey. They move. Where is this? Looking for that container. Oh, I have to move with them. Because otherwise they don't move. Fine. In here. Hey, the Colony 4 Council Room. Oh, and it's the destination. Awesome. This right here is Sword March. Well, that part is common knowledge, I suppose. To get there, you have a few possible routes. Mainly the northern and the southern. And then, the direct route cutting through the ocean vortex. You don't say. That works. Nobody's done it before. Such a tease. Yeah. You can try to approach it from sea or from air. But as soon as you're close to it, you'll end up being ripped to shreds. Seems like how we found our it's plot not just location. The in the wind. We believe there's some other force at play there. And so, through elimination then, these two. And quite frankly, I wouldn't advise going north. Why is that? The road's dangerous. And it runs right past Agnes Castle territory. Ugh. You'd have a hard time getting through. Yeah, I'd go south. Tyan, turns out you were right. As always. Additionally, you are Ouroboros. If you face another colony, you may find the same thing happening as did with us. I'd feel safe betting on it. If you go south, the battle lines are relatively fixed. If you can proceed along this route, you'll get there in about two months. Yeah! Two months. But... But? There's more? Even if you reach the sword, this... city, yes? It's hard to believe you would find it there. It seems far-fetched. How so? Once, we had to advance across this region ourselves. It was empty. Nothing but the sword piercing the landscape. And then, there's that word you mentioned, city. What could that possibly mean? Is it a person? Or a thing? When Guernica talked about it, it sounded kind of like a colony? Uh, I was pretty sure it was an object. Will you still go there, regardless? Yeah. That was the idea. For a chance to live on. Then there's no more to say. Boliaris. Mom? Our guests will be leaving soon. Let's give them any assistance we can. No worries. Feel free to use the facilities here at your leisure. Get ready for what's ahead. I feel like Boliaris might have Shulk's voice actor. Uh, Mimi? 
Relax. We're just doing what Ethel said. Just using the facilities at our leisure. You have to eat, else you won't grow. It's just... Don't let them get to you. Yeah? Aww. Hey. What is this? It used to belong to my friend. He always wore it till last year. <gasps> yes, he died fighting against Colony Psy. You animals killed him. Yeah. Shot him right here. Clean through. You're wrong. We're actually from Colony Gam. Mimi, what? If that's what you want, go ahead and shoot. It's not like I'm a hard target. Now we're talking. A what? You're nearly done anyway. Well then keep your lousy embers. Die today or in three months' time, not much difference. <sighs> ah, just mind you don't get poisoned before your time's up. What a jerk. So uncalled for. Senna, it's fine. He was right. We did kill people. Maybe not his friend, but certainly others. We had no choice. If we hadn't have... We'd be goners. We had no choice. Yeah, that was clear until now. But not anymore. Right? Uh-huh. There's a chance we can make amends, even if we're misunderstood. On the house. Eat your fill, friend. <laughs> huh? We're dirt rack, remember? Life ain't easy here. But you did help. Besides, you gave us a choice. The choice not to fight. Now, we won't have to take others' lives. I've... I've wished for this. And you made it true. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> I think it's time to share food. <laughs> Believe that southward route. <laughs> I believe the southward route is currently blocked by the rock wall. I would estimate that clearing it will take some time. I guess we'll just have to wait till it's done. Uh, guys, can I say something? Huh? Sounds heavy. I've been thinking, and I think there might be something else that we could try. You mean about Colony Four? Hardly your responsibility. Uh, Tyon, it's not quite like that. I mean, if I see someone in trouble, I just want to help them. Maybe it's not a sense of responsibility, exactly. It's more like a natural reaction. Oh, you feel that even for a former enemy? That's how I feel about it. Right now, at least. Time to side quest! <laughs> Mimi, your heart's big enough for everyone to have a slice. Okay, well, no time like the present. Let's do something to help. Yeah, why not? Ethel helped us out way back, after all. Now we've got a chance to give something back, right? Suppose it'll help us earn their trust. And kill a bit of time, maybe. I, I think Mimi's right. Nice. Thanks. Right, well, that was heartwarming, to be sure. But what are we going to do to help, exactly? Lance, you need to expend some mental energy on it yourself instead of boarding questions. I get this may be tricky for you. Oi, watch it, buddy! <laughs> well, if we're going to do that, maybe a little intelligence gathering is in order. Yeah, I guess we got it. It's one thing to want to lend a hand, another to know where to stick it. I guess we'd better ask around the colony, then. 
Still feeling weird about this? No, it's just... What, worried about helping the bad guys? It's a bit late for that, love. Anyway, if anyone tries to stir the pot again, we'll just punt them under 11, that's right. And by we, I mean lands, obviously. I'd like to call Ixnay on the punting if it's not too much to, uh, too much bother. I'm afraid it would get quite messy. Come on, it was just a figure of speech, mate. Okay then, everyone's good to start asking around the colony to find out how we can help. Helping out is a quest. Gathering info. All across the Aeonius, you will find uh, information icons. Look near them for info that could be helpful on your travels. Be sure to check any you happen to find. What I most want to do right now is just try and find those um, containers, but uh, quite, a few troop, uh, quite a few of the troops want you to be expelled from the colony. But I don't think they're driven by malice. It's just that fear and confusion has clouded their judgment. You should give them a fair hearing, or see if you can lend a hand somehow. Maybe you'll win their hearts and minds that way? If you give them a reason to fix their misunderstandings, I'm sure they'll make the effort. Thanks, Solon. We'll give that some serious thought. It's, uh, it's foolish for us to set up base here. One out of two. I don't think the Met team are able to respond in time. Yeah, if this carries on, the wounded will just keep piling up higher and higher. I hope you'll stop by the canteen again. Anyone with an empty stomach gets a warm welcome here. Thanks, we love your cooking too. <laughs> no, come on, it's not all that. But seriously. I'll even slip you a few freebies on the house if I've got enough ingredients in. Ah, you must be the ones Ethel told us about. Yeah, that's us. I'd love to give you a proper welcome, but unfortunately my hands are somewhat tied right now. Really sorry. We've a lack of personnel, dwindling medical surprise, and the patients won't stop arriving. Things really have been rough ever since we dropped a dirt rank. Not enough medical supplies, huh? So it would appear. That kind of problem calls for swift handling. Well, Chandra? Thank you, thank you for the heads up. Discussing info. Listen, uh, listen to people's conversations on your travel to acquire info fragments. Once you find enough, they can be discussed with fellow, fellow party members at rest spots. I see. I'm Without going. Supplies, the medics can't do jack. It's a problem. Seems they're already racking up patients. Gonna see if I can get those containers. Hey, you better not just be ignoring these uh, those supply drops that come down. Don't trouble yourself too much over who they're meant for. Just get in and get the goods. Nothing I won't do to get them. Pretty much everyone will be out to get those supplies. Could easily turn into a mad scramble. Yeah, I'm looking for them. There's got to be a way to get that container. This piranhas. Is it silver coat? Yeah. Even a dirt rack is still Ethel's partner, I bet. Oh. Huh. oh, that's open. Right. Okay, I can't do that. Got it. I have no idea how to get it then. But we're gonna ignore that one. It looks like I can't get it yet. But the other, I can probably get. I just need to figure out where it is.
Looks like it's on level with that area down there. Yeah, it's level with this, so... Definitely can't get the other one, but I can probably get this. Here we go. I, hope we I was almost there last this. time. What does salt stone do? A bunch of gemstones too. Boost auto attack damage. Don't care. to start selling those things, because I have all sorts. Uh... I definitely need to get rid of those attack stones. <laughs> sell those things because it's on my mind and I'm going to forget. Um, and then after that, I think that's going to close it for today. It is 320. Hey, it's a rest spot, the Colony 4 Canteen. What to buy? Those are bad swords. I want the same swords I had at the other day!
it's a safe bet that the stuff that's low price is stuff that I can do better. So. Discussing gathered info. After gathering info, go to rest button, select discuss for a chance to discuss it. In some cases, these discussions will trigger new quest developments. Uh, before I do that... Oh, it's not... I'm, I'm stuck in a tutorial again. Better make sure we're well rested. In discuss, you can talk with the party about the different info fragments that you have gathered. Of course. Here, let's discuss the issues of Colony 4. I think we need to discuss this. Alright, let's recap. Injuries from local monsters, trouble owing to the uh, colony's location. There were also some more urgent cases, with more wounded appearing by the day. Yeah, the medic team seemed super busy. It sounded like they couldn't provide adequate care, so they always had more patients coming in. I got the feeling they could deal with the staffing problem if they didn't also have a not enough stuff problem. You mean, if they had, like, drugs and bandages? Those kinds of medical supplies are difficult to craft without specialized facilities. Well, we're in the arse end of nowhere, and therefore bang out of luck. Precisely. It's only a matter of time before all the supplies start running out. Spark it all! So what? We're up a creek with no paddle? Well, we have to do something. Hmm. Ah, hang on. No, that wouldn't... What did... Tyon, if you've got something to say, then do, or by the Queen's knuckles, I'll slap you! Yes, but... Hmm. Again. What is it, Tyon? come up with something? First of all, I have to say there's no guarantee. Spit it out, man! We can work out the kinks later. I hear you. Then let's leave this instant. What? Oi! Where are we off to now? Galgor's Minear. If we're lucky, we might make it in time. In time for what? You're not making sense. I said we have to go this instant. I'll explain when we get there. You need to drop it. Let's just do as he says. No want of courage! The hero quest. Hey! You lot! Got a second! What's up, Goliaris? It's the commander. What's the commander? Well, I haven't seen her for ages. Do you know where she is? Um, I don't think we've seen her. Are you sure? You haven't seen her at all. Think very carefully. She wouldn't hesitate to die for the colony that came down to it. But she's so strong that she'll bear any burden alone, however heavy. Look, if anything would have happened to her, then... Colony 4, then... We'd be... Okay, okay. Calm down. Ugh. Sorry. Got carried away. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Look, if you see her, just tell me, okay? Sorry to have kept you. Yeah.
Quest complete. Ani 4 is revealed to be suffering from a shortage of medical supplies, but Tyon seems to have a solution in mind. And a bunch of experience for it. Discuss how different info fragments can further quests, like the issues at Colony 4 you just talked about. When a quest is active, its destination will be marked on, uh, on screen with an exclamation mark. Press Y to view an active quest, uh, quest's current objective. If you have no active quest when a new one triggers, it will be auto-activated, otherwise you can activate it with Y. You can toggle quest auto-activation in Options Game. In Quest in the main menu, select a quest from the list, then press Y to register it as an active quest. Gamble's menu is north of here. Yeah, yeah, and we better hurry, right? Well then, no time like the present. Alright. Well, that's a thing, but, uh... Quick save. Keep a record. I, I, uh, I don't want to keep going on the, on, on the quest, okay? At, we're at the end of stream. <laughs> we'll finish it next time. <laughs> because I have a feeling as soon as it finishes, it's going to go into another thing, and then another thing, and another thing, and I just need to stop for today. <laughs> so, anyway. That's going to be all for today. So, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.